his foot. I wonder where we're going. Uh-oh, look out below. Sean, we're supposed to be picking up our toys now. I know. I'm knocking them down so I can pick them up. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Tina. Tina. Are you about ready to go? Just about. There, now we're ready. And I'm ready to hear about the special thing that happened today. What special thing? Remember? Barney told us that something special was going to happen today. Hey, that's right. Yeah. But what's special about today? The calendar shows us what day it is. Maybe it can help us. Let's look over there. Come on. Okay. Good to see you. Is it really your birthday, Barney? It really is, Kathy. How old are you today, Barney? Oh, I'm all grown up now. I'm two dinosaur years old. Two dinosaur years? Mm -hmm. How's that people years? Oh, let's see. Um, uh, 200 million years. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot. And in all that time, you're some of my very best friends. You know, <laughs> Everyone just has one birthday in a whole year, so we need to do something really special for Barney. Oh, you don't need to we do anything We could put up decorations. Oh, I like it. And we could play games. Oh, games are I wish fun. you had some goodies. Mm -hmm. And yeah. presents. He has to have presents. Oh, we'll give Barney the to. best birthday party ever. Oh. Yeah! Okay. Oh, a birthday party for me? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, I'll oh, boy. I'll go get the birthday crown. Oh, oh. The birthday crown? Oh, what's that? When Anyone in our class has a birthday, they get to wear the birthday crown. It's your special day, so you get to look special. Oh, great. Here it is. But I think maybe it's too small for you, Barney. Oh, I imagine it will fit just fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's sit right up here. I'll just uh, bend down for you. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, See? Yeah. It's just right. Now I really feel like the birthday boy. <laughs> then the next thing we should do is to see how much he's grown. Okay. Yeah, we Lead see. the way. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, goody. <laughs> Get to see how tall I am. See? Look at this. Uh -huh. On your birthday, it's fun to see how much you've grown in one year. Ooh. Sometimes we only grow a little. And sometimes we grow a lot. Okay, let's all give it a try. Okay, you go first. Okay. Oh, yeah, you go great. First. <laughs> Stand up like straight. Your... Oh. She is. There. Oh, she gets her own arrow. There you go. Boy, how gross. <laughs> uh -huh. I guess I'll go next. Okay. Okay. So. There we go. Kathy gets her own arrow. You've grown a lot. Oh, she has. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, my goodness, Kathy. Pretty soon, you're going to be as tall as a tree. <laughs> oh, oh, Barney, you're so silly. Oh. In kindergarten, I was this tall. Oh, oh look. Now you're, you're this tall. Oh, my. You wow. grow this much. Oh. Now it's Barney's turn. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, let me just uh, step over here and. Oh, whoops. Oh, that won't work. Maybe if I turn around and. and put, uh, oh, no. That doesn't work either. Oh, darn. Try it now, Barney. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. Oops, backing up. Backing up. Oh, well, that's more like it. Wow. You're taller than the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you must have grown a lot since you were a baby dinosaur. Sure, I have. 
everybody grows, and it's a very good thing we do. <laughs> Why, you might even be as tall as I am someday! <laughs> Chain. Mm. You cut the paper in a strip like this. Uh -huh. Then you put it through here and make a circle. Mm, then you glue it. Mm. See? Mm. Wow, you've done lots already. And we're going to do lots more. Uh huh. Oh, I can't wait to see the whole thing. <laughs> Now, let's see what the others are doing. Oh, oh, what are you making? Paper ice cream cones? <laughs> They're party cats, Barney. See? Oh. <laughs> All I have to do is trace this, uh -huh. then cut it out. Here comes the hard part. Ooh. So roll it up, Ooh. then glue it, and it will look like this. Oh. <laughs> then I'll take it, put on some glue, mm -hmm. and decorate it. Oh. <laughs> And when it's done, it looks like this. Oh, <laughs> I think those party hats are just as nice as my birthday crown. <laughs> Be sure to make enough for everybody. We oh, will. Yeah. Okay. Barney, we also wanted to make you some surprise birthday presents. You do? Uh-huh, but they won't be surprises if you see them now. Mm. So could you please wait outside for a little while? Oh, okay. <laughs> I love surprises. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tina, I don't think I can make a present that's special enough for Barney. Sure you can. We've got lots of things to work with. Barney should get something really special for his birthday. What can I do, Teddy? What can I do? Oh, boy. Barney, oh, you yeah. can come in now. Oh, no, okay. Come Here in. I come. Oh, oh, oh. A little too tall there. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, look at this place. It's beautiful. Oh, oh, it's wonderful. Look at all the decorations. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. Oh, you all did just great. Hmm. What's this? This was already in the classroom. It's called a piñata. When boys and girls in Mexico have a birthday party, the piñata is hung by a rope, and everybody tries to break it with a stick. Mm. Why do they do that? Because the piñata is filled with toys and candy. Mm. And when it breaks open, everybody gets them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, boys and girls all over the world have birthday parties. They may not be the same as ours, but they're all a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> My grandfather lives in Mexico. He taught me the birthday song that they sing there. Oh, I'd like to hear that. Estas son las mañanitas que cantaba Rey David. A las muchachas bonitas se las canta. Feliz cumpleaños. That's 
<laughs> means happy birthday in Spanish. Oh, let's all say it. Uh, how does it go again, Tina? Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. <laughs> or you could say maligayang ka-arawan. Oh. oh, that's nice. See, my family came from a country called the Philippines. That's a long, long way from here. Mm. And when people there say happy birthday, they say maligayang ka-arawan. Maligayang ka-arawan. <laughs> and when they sing happy birthday, it sounds like this. Maligayang bati, maligayang bati, maligayang bati sa'yo, maligayang bati. Oh, that was very nice, Min. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> do boys and girls have birthday cakes in the Philippines? Sure they do. Hey, that's what we need for Bonnie, a birthday cake. Ooh. But we can't make a cake. Well, maybe all you need to do is look for a cake. Look <laughs> for a cake? <laughs> now, where would you look for a cake? In the kitchen! Yeah! Yeah! Right! Let's go! Come on. <laughs> oh, yum! <laughs> Whoa! Barney, did you do all this? Oh, even if it is my birthday, I thought I should help out a little. <laughs> Ooh, this cake looks yummy, and it's all ready to decorate. Mm. Let's do it! First you take the frosting and you spread it, you spread it. First you take the frosting and you spread it, you spread it for the birthday. I think the two candles are perfect. <laughs> okay, Barney's cake's done. The decorations are up. The presents are ready. The guests are here. Then let's have a party! Yay! Yay! Oh, let's go! Oh, boy! Oh, what should we do first? Party games! Yay! Yay! Oh. <laughs> oh, hi! I love party games! <laughs> Of course, Baby Bop. Let's play! Yeah! <laughs> oh, boy! Oh, Very good! Oh, Yay! boy! Oh, 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 oh. oh, I made it go so high! Oh, oh. I got it! Here it comes! Oh. Here it comes! Oh, 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 oh. I'm so glad you came to my birthday party, Baby Bob. I had to come a long, long way. Oh, you did? I had to go around the tree, uh -huh. swing on the swings, oh, uh -huh. go up the ladder, uh -huh. and go down the slide. You oh, did my. come a long way. 
<laughs> hey, this reminds me of a fun song about someone else who came a long way for a party. Oh, let's sing, let's oh, sing. Okay. Let's. Oh, yeah. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Choo, choo. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Choo, choo. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Choo, choo. She'll be driving six wide horses when she comes. Whoa, hey! She'll be driving six wide horses when she comes. Whoa, hey! She'll be driving six wide horses. She'll be driving six wide horses. She'll be driving six wide horses when she comes. Whoa, hey! And we'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi there! And we'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Hi there! And we'll all. Just like me. Thank you, Min. And what's that? It's a poem just for you, Barney. Oh, I'd really like to hear it. Okay. Oh, boy. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm glad it's your birthday because I love you. Oh, and I love you, Min. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Here, Barney, I made this just for you. Oh, you made this toy dinosaur? Not the dinosaur. I made the bow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and a very nice bow it is, too. Thank you, Sean. You're welcome. <laughs> Barney, I made this paper flower for you. I hope you like it. Oh, you know I do. It's just about the prettiest flower I've ever seen. Thank you, Tina. You're welcome. <laughs> now me. Now me. Baby Bob has a present for Barney inside my blankie. Oh. Let's see what it is. Oh, what kind of present is this? It's a hug. Hug for Barney. <laughs> oh, it's just my size, too. Thank you, baby Bob. <laughs> Here, Barney. It's something special. Happy birthday. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, now, let's see. What do we have here? It's Kathy's oh. teddy. Oh, Oh, goodness. He's a really good teddy. You'll like him. Oh, Kathy. What I'd really like is for you to keep Teddy. But, Barney, I wanted you to have a special present. Presents are important. I'll tell you a secret, Kathy. Presents can be nice, but it's the gift of love that's important. And thank you for giving me the gift of love. Oh, so you mean? gave you a special birthday gift? Oh, you all did, because you're all my friends, and each and every one of you is very special. Oh, you sure are. <laughs> you are special, you're the only one, you're the only one like you. There isn't another in the whole wide world who can do the things you do. Oh, oh you are special, special. You're important, are you really? 
so happy. Oh, I can't think of anything else I could want. How about some birthday cake? Oh, oh boy! Yeah, oh, 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 stupendous! Uh oh, but how can we light your birthday candles? Oh, allow me. Oh, oh, boy, here we go. Oh, oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Barney. Shucks. <laughs> Okay, here I go. What did you wish for, Barney? Do you think it will come true? I think it's coming true right now. This is great! It's what I wanted the very most! To share my birthday party with all of my friends! <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, who wants a big piece of cake? Oh, I oh, oh, boy! Oh, it looks so good. You did a great job. Mm, this is good. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Great cake. Look, there's one piece left over. Oh. Who's that for, Barney? Oh, I'm saving that piece for another friend of mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> sounds That's okay. Mm, sounds good. Mm, that sure was yummy. Oh, it sure was. <laughs> and I sure am happy. This is my best, best, best birthday ever. And you're our best friend ever, Barney. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Tina. Oh. <laughs> To all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. 
Oh, thank you so much for coming to my birthday party today. I'm really glad you could be here. Remember that piece of birthday cake I was saving for a friend? I was saving it just for you. Oh, use your imagination and you can pretend to eat it right up. Isn't it yummy? Oh, I hope you had lots of fun today. You really made my birthday special just by being here. Thank you very much, and remember, I love you. swing and I'll push you. Okay, men. Oh, we take turns. Oh, we take turns. When we play with toys. We play with toys. Cause that's what's right. Cause that's what's right. For girls and boys. For girls and boys. Oh, we take turns. We play with toys. Cause that's what's right. For girls and boys. Oh, we take turns. When we play with toys. Dinosaur joining the fun, too? Sure, Barney. Tina and I have been playing on the swing. Ooh. Would you please push me again, Min? Sure, I'd love to. Oh, I like the way you've been taking turns. Manners are rules for being nice to people, and you're using good manners and being polite to each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll push you all the way up to the stars, Tina. Okay, Min, and I'll pretend I'm swinging at nighttime. I'm starting slow and swinging real low, but soon I'll be going much higher. Then I'll swing so high, I'll be up in the sky and pretend that I'm a high flyer. 
<laughs> oh, there she goes. Oh. She's swinging up to the stars and she just passed Mars. She better look around soon because if she's not careful to watch where she's going, I might just bump into the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I like to look up at the sky as I swing back and forth. It's fun to play outside. We can do lots of things outside, and guess what, Barney? Mm -hmm. We planned a special outdoor surprise for you today. Oh, a surprise? Oh, I love surprises. Uh, let's see, uh, is it a game we're gonna play? Well, that's part of it. Oh, goody, games are fun. Fun and games, fun and games. But there's more. Oh, oh okay, uh, let me see. Uh, is it something special we're going to eat? It's lots of things we're gonna eat. Ooh. We're gonna have an after-school picnic. A picnic? That sounds like a super de duper delicious surprise. <laughs> oh. It'll be a lot of fun. But why don't we play a game until we get hungry? Hey. How about a tug of war? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh. Barney could be at one end of the rope, oh. and we could pull on the other end. That's okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay, Barney, the team that can pull the ribbon over to its side of the stump wins the tug of war. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Go. Oh. Oh, 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 boy, you kids are stronger than I thought. I'm not moving you an inch. Oh, oh. You'll never win. I have an idea. Keep pulling. Stop, stop that, man. I'm, I'm ticklish. Oh, nice going, kids. Oh, that's the funniest tug of war I've ever been in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why don't we play another game before our picnic? Okay, what should it be? Oh, how about a sack race? Okay, yes, sure, sack race. Okay. <laughs> okay, the first person to hop past the steps and then over here to the gate wins. Everybody ready? Just a second, Barney. Derek, I think I saw something in your bag. Yeah? Okay, get on your mark. And it was big. Yeah? Get set. I think it was a big bug. A bug? Yeah! Go! Derek is the winner! Yay! 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 Oh, 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 boy, looks like that butterfly got a little shook up. Not as shook up as Derek was. Yeah, I think I'm ready to eat now. <laughs> Me too. Would you like to join us? Of course, Tina. I'd be delighted. Everything we brought is in the classroom. Let's go get it. Okay. Oh, Michael, could you please help me with the door? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome, Tina. There are lots of things we can do to be nice. Sometimes they're hard to remember. But there are two little things you should never forget from January through December. in the morning at noon and night because it's a great way to be polite. Please and thank you, they're the magic words. Derek, would you please help me with this? Sure. Thank you. Welcome. We're talking about please and thank you. They're called the magic words. Oh. If animals could talk, oh. you'd hear the fishes and the birds. them in the morning at noon and night cuz it's a great way to be polite. Please and thank you, they're the magic words. Here, Barney, let me help you with those. Why, thank you, Michael. Oh, sure. <laughs> We're talking about please and thank you. They're called the magic words. If animals could talk, you'd hear the fishes and the birds. Saying please and thank you cuz they're the magic words. Use them in the morning.
morning at noon and night, cause it's a great way to be polite. Please and thank you, they're the magic words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ray Betty, I think we're ready to eat. Mm. Boy, this food looks great. It's a picnic full of healthy snacks. <laughs> Snacking on healthy food is what we like to do. Eating apples, oranges, carrots, and some celery, too. Nuts and cheese, and some of these, and a glass of fruit juice, too. Mmm, these are some of my favorite foods. And they're all good for us, too. <laughs> Snacking on healthy food is what we like to do. For school snacks. Mm, yum! Snacking on healthy food is what we like to do. Eating apples, oranges, carrots, and some celery too. Nuts and cheese, and some of these, and a glass of fruit juice too. Nuts and cheese, and some of these, and a glass of fruit juice too. <laughs> you know, eating healthy snacks is good. For us. And being polite to other people is good for us, too. Hey, everybody, besides saying please and thank you, what are some ways we can be polite when we're eating? It's not polite to reach across the table for food. You should ask someone to pass the food to you. Uh huh. Hmm. Michael, would you please pass me the carrots? Oh, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and it's not good manners to talk with your mouth full. <laughs> You shouldn't make noise or chew with their mouths open, either. That's right. I can make a clap with my hands. I can make a stomp with my feet. I can make a cluck when I cluck my tongue. But I am very quiet when I eat. <laughs> I'm very quiet. <laughs> I can make a snap with my fingers. I can make a tap with my toe. I can make a snort when I <gasps> my nose, but I eat very quietly, you know. When I'm chewing my veggies, I always keep my mouth closed. I can make a click with my teeth, make a scary noise in the night. Ooh. I can make a whistle when I <gasps> my lips, but when I eat, I try to be polite. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I always try to be polite when I eat, but even if you don't talk with your mouth full or chew with your mouth open or smack your lips, you can still be loud. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Some foods are just noisy. I'll show you. Take a bite of your carrot stick. Okay. <laughs> now, men, bite into your apple. Oh. <laughs> Derek, eat one of those crackers. <laughs> Here comes the celery. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I guess you're right, Michael. Some foods are noisy all by themselves. But I'm glad you all use good manners anyway. Sure, because we were all taught good manners when we were little. And speaking of good manners, hit it, Barney. Oh, please? Oh, oh okay. Oh. Okay.
I just love good manners. <laughs> hey, I bet you know some other ways you can show good manners. You should always cover your mouth when you cough. <coughs> or when you sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, bless, bless you. you. <laughs> if you're chewing gum, you should keep it in your mouth and not play with mm -hmm. it. I know a silly song about something you should never do with gum. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? If you chew it in the morning, will it be too hard to bite? Can't you see I'm going crazy? Won't somebody set me right? Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? Hmm, that's a good question. Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? If you chew it in the morning, will it be too hard to bite? Can't you see I'm going crazy? Won't somebody set me right? Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? <laughs> I would never take gum out of my mouth and stick it to something. Mm. Sometimes my mom lets me chew bubble gum, but it's not good manners to blow bubbles in front of people. It's okay to blow bubbles with friends, though. <laughs> but with bubble gum, you can only make one at a time. Mm. Why don't we have some fun making lots of bubbles? Hey. Lots and lots of bubbles, please! Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Whoa. 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 Wait a minute. Let's make this our very special splash day! Oh, cool. <laughs> and for that, we need some special clothes. Okay, here we go. We'll put the bubbles here. Here, I'll get the door. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Tina, may I have the fly swatters? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Here, Michael. Oh, thanks. Here, Min. You can use these. Thank you, Derek. Do you use them for what? For making bubbles. Just dip them in the bubble mix. Just watch. Whoa, let Look me try. Whoa. 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 Oh, look at them all. Whoa, look. Wow. <laughs> oh, excuse me, man. I didn't mean to bump into you. Oh, that's okay, Michael. <laughs> Here we go. Here's some more. Oh, no. Oh. We can almost get oh. in these, Barney. Oh. Yeah, that's so big, Barney. Oh, they sure are. Here we go. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. 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 Oh, these are this. neat, Barney. Oh. 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 Teeny tiny ones are big ones. Oh, oh. 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 that is huge.
let's have a splash party. Yeah. Ooh. We can do all sorts of fun things with water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Be cool. yeah. I watch my daddy do this every morning. Oops, missed a spot. Just as good as my dad. Boy, this is smooth. <sighs> I don't think the fish are biting, Barney. Oh, and do you know why? They're too busy swimming. Oh, oh. <laughs> see? Look at the fishies. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. <laughs> Down in the meadow in an itty bitty pool live three little fishies and a mommy fishy too. Swim, said the mommy fishy, swim if you can. And they swam and they swam all over the dam. Boop, boop, did'em, dad'em, what'em, chew. Boop, boop, did'em, dad'em, what'em, chew. Boop, boop, did'em, dad'em, what'em, chew. And they swam and they swam all over the dam. Oh, there they go. One by one. Stop, said the mommy, or you will get lost. But the three little fishies didn't want to be bossed. So the three little fishies went off on a spree. And they swam, and they swam right out to the sea. Boop, boop, did'em, dad'em, what'em, chew. Boop, boop, did'em, dad'em, what'em, chew. Boop, boop, did'em, dad'em, what'em, chew. And they swam, and they swam all over the dam. Oh, be careful, little fishies. That's a big ocean out there. Oh, Said the little fishies, here's a lot of fun. We'll swim in the ocean till the day is done. So they swam and they swam and it was a lark. Till all of a sudden, they met with a shark. Oh. Boop, boop, did'em, dad'em, what'em, chew. Boop, boop, did'em, dad'em, what'em, chew. She's look at the whales. Quick as they could, they turned on their tails. Back to the pool in the meadow they swam, and they swam, and they swam all over the dam. Boop, boop, did'em, did'em, what'em, chew. Boop, boop, did'em, did'em, what'em, chew. Boop, boop, did'em, did'em, what'em, chew. And they swam, and they swam all over the dam. Oh, oh, oh. welcome home, fishies. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, would you like to see me make a star out of water? A star out of water? How can you do that? Watch. Okay. Hey, pretty neat, Tina. Thank you, Derek. Okay, Baby Bop, guess how many cups it will take to fill this up and bring the ducky to the top. Let me see. I guess eight. <laughs> I guess six. Maybe three. And I say four. Okay, Baby Bop, fill it up. Okay. <laughs> fill it up. One. Fill it up. Two. Michael, you were <laughs> right. It took four cups to bring Ducky to the top. Ooh, can we do one more, please? <laughs> sure. Okay, guess how many cups it will take to fill this up? I say 12. Mm, maybe seven. I think 10 will fill it. I guess eight again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Fill, fill it up. up. One. Fill it up. Cups to fill.
fill this up. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I gotta take a nap now. Baby Bob's tired. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, I guess we'd better get going too, Barney. But, um... Oh, no problem. Barney! Oh, whoops! Oh, oh that's so Barney. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for Splash Day, Barney. Oh. It was a lot of fun. Oh, you're all so welcome. <laughs> To all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Aren't picnics fun? <laughs> you can enjoy being outdoors with friends and eat healthy snacks that taste yummy, too. Mm. You can have fun playing tug-of-war or making bubbles. It's important to be polite and use good manners. Always take turns when you're playing, and remember to say please and thank you. And remember, too, that I love you. Somebody eating something. But there's no one here. Well, let's 
look around for it yeah, and see if we can see down. if there's anything in Yeah. Uh -huh. Put our stuff right here and let's look around. Is it, it might be zippity. Look, no, see if it, not, is no, it not? No, it's not zippity. No, it's not zippity. Oh dear, can you children help me? Uh, Kathy, Min, Sean, uh, Michael, over here. Did you hear that? Someone needs help. But who? Hi there. <laughs> Hi everybody. Oh, I'm so glad to see you all. But did I hear you say somebody needs help? Help! Oh, oh, oh Barney! Huh? Down here! What's that? That's why we need you, Barney. Someone wants our help. But there's no one here. Hmm. Could it be over here? Help! Oh, help! I think the sound seems help! to be coming help! from just about here. Help! Help! Oh. <laughs> well, that's more like it. <laughs> Oh, hello there, Barney. <laughs> Hi, kids. I thought you'd never look down here. Why, it's just my very good friend, Mother Goose. Mother Goose? That's right. And I need your help. Do you hear that chomp chomping sound inside my book? I sure do. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that there may be a bookworm nibbling at my pages. Ooh. A bookworm? Isn't that just someone who likes to read books? Uh -huh. Most of the time. But there's another kind of bookworm that eats books. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Ooh. Barney, would you be a dear and check inside my book? Of course I will, Mother Goose. My pleasure. And just uh, let me open it up here and uh, see what's inside. Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh. Oh. There was a bookworm inside, and it chewed up all of the pages. Oh, there goes Humpty Dumpty and Little Boy Blue and Jack and Jill. Oh. Uh, now, now, don't be sad. We can make things all better, but it will take a lot of imagination. Barney, will you put my book down on the table? Oh, sure I will. Now, let's see. There you go. Now. I want everyone to use their imagination. Ooh. That's our favorite game. It sure is. <laughs> Mother Goose, Mother Goose, your voice we can hear, but we'd like it even better if you kindly appear. We've heard your many rhymes from our mom and dad. If you could come and see us, it would make us glad. Mother Goose. see you again. <laughs> Thank you for using your imaginations. Believe me, Sean, that's the best thing to use when things go wrong. How did you know my name? Why, I know all of you. <laughs> Sean, Michael, Min. Why, thank you, Min. <laughs> and Kathy and Teddy. I know every girl and boy who has ever looked inside my book of rhymes. <laughs> Why, I knew your parents when they were little. Mm. And your grandparents when they were little. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I have loved girls and boys for a long, long time. Oh, I'm Mother Goose, and I'm here to say that I love to talk in rhyme. I've been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. I've been for many, many years, for a very, very, very long time. Now, what is a rhyme? 
you ask What is a rhyme you say Rhyming words will sound the same Like fiddle and diddle Name and game Like farmer in the dell Pussy in the well I like to talk in rhyme Oh, I'm Mother Goose And I'm here to say that I love to talk in rhyme I've been around for many, many years For a very, very, very long time I've been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. Now, some of my rhymes are funny, and some are for sleepy time, and others talk about animals, like the sheep in Little Bo Peep, <laughs> like sugar and spice in Three Blind Mice. I like to talk in rhyme. Oh, I'm Mother Goose, and I'm here to say that I love to talk in rhyme. I've been around for many, many years, for a very, very, very long time. I've been around for many, many years, for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> Things are always fun when you're around, Mother Goose. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, dear. You're lots of fun, too. Oh, shucks. Have you been friends with Barney for a long time? Oh, goodness, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my, what a mess. That bookworm has chewed up all my nursery rhymes. Mm. Why don't you just write them all down again? Yeah. I can make my book as good as new. Sure. But, oh dear, it's been such a long time, I don't think I can remember all the Mother Goose rhymes I had in here. Mm. I know, we can help you remember the nursery rhymes. Right, everybody? Oh, we yeah. sure can. Could you? Could you? Oh, oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Here's some nice clean paper to write on. Thank you, Michael. Great. It's right with. Here's a marker. Oh, oh thank, thank you, dear. <laughs> but I always write with this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that all you need? That's all I need. Now, where to begin? Gee, where do we begin? That's kind of a puzzle. Hmm. That's it. We'll start out with our Mother Goose puzzles. Come on. Oh, to the puzzles. Yeah. Ta -ho. <laughs> hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> ran away with the spoon. Got it. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, maybe the king's horses and the king's men couldn't put him back together again, but you did, Michael. Oh. <laughs> you certainly <laughs> did. And you know, I was very surprised that the king let his horses try to put Humpty Dumpty together again. <laughs> <laughs> but that king was full of surprises, and he just loved to have a good time. <laughs> Which king do you mean? Why, old King Cole, of course. Oh, wow, oh, look at you. <laughs> old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Dance with the fiddlers, dance with the fiddlers, dance with the fiddlers three. Dance with the fiddlers, dance with the fiddlers, dance with the fiddlers three. Soul and a merry old soul was he. He called for his queen and he called for his court and he called for his trumpeters three. Dance with the trumpeters, dance with the trumpeters, dance with the trumpeters three. Dance with the trumpeters, dance with the trumpeters, dance with the trumpeters three. Boom, 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 was a merry old soul and a merry old soul was he. He called for his lady and he called for his horse and he called for his drummers three. Dance with the drummers, dance with the drummers three. Dance with the drummers, dance with the 
drummers, dance with the drummers three. Dance with the fiddlers, dance with the trumpeters, dance with the drummers. Dance and dance and dance until you all fall down with me. <laughs> bravo, bravo. You are all just grand. <laughs> now, let me finish writing it all down. Oh, this is such a special occasion. Now. I think the next few rhymes in my book were all about things to eat. Mm. Well, that's right. There are lots of rhymes like that. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a make-believe tea party to help us remember. Hey, that's a super duper idea. <laughs> Mother Goose, would you care to be my guest? Why, thank you, sir. Oh. I'd be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> and what a lovely tea. <laughs> Little Jack Corner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plug and said, What a good boy am I! <laughs> oh, he is a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Oh, do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? <laughs> Gee, I guess that's me. <laughs> oh, yes, we know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Oh, yes, we know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for Barney and me. Oh, for me? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, we all drank tea. Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again, they've all gone away. Gone away. There. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five more rhymes we've remembered. And <laughs> I've just thought of another rhyme, a very special kind that's lots of fun. What is it, Barney? It's called a tongue twister. That's a kind of rhyme that's hard to say out loud without making a funny mistake. Like, um, Peter Piper. Oh, oh that's, that's a good, right. Here's that good one. <laughs> you say it, and I'll write it, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, then where's the Piter Peeper pickle? Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, goodness. I don't think I caught that last part, Barney. Oh. <laughs> Maybe someone else can tell me. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pickle... Oh. <laughs> oh, let me try it again. <clears throat> Peter Piper Packer Pickle Picker. Oh, no, I'm going again. Barney. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, oh, oh. This looks like a job for Mother Goose. Oh, boy. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? How Very oh, good. Oh, 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 boy. Three. 
three little kittens, they lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have lost. What lost your mittens, you naughty kittens, then you shall have no pie. They found their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. What found your mittens, you funny kittens, then you shall have some pie. Purr, 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 oh, let us have some pie. Oh, boy. The three little kittens put on their mittens and soon ate up their pie. your mittens, you naughty kittens. Then they began to sigh. Meow, 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 meow. Then they began to sigh. The three little kittens, they washed their mittens and hung them out to dry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have washed. What washed your mittens, your good little kittens? Now you can go and play. Oh, 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 that rhyme was just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it sure was. Here, Mother Goose, you can write it down. Oh, thank you, Michael. <laughs> just pull this chair out okay. and sit down, and we'll just get the book ready. And we'll just write away. Yes? I was just thinking, you look a lot like Nana. She's my grandmother. Do you know what? When your Nana was a little girl, a long time ago, she looked a lot like you. <laughs> Mother Goose, we're ready for more nursery rhymes. Oh, I sure am. Hey, here's another rhyme we can do. Rub-a-dub-dub, three men in a tub. And who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Send them out, knaves all three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great one, Sean. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Oh, good <laughs> jumping. <laughs> All right, now it is my turn to choose a rhyme. Oh, boy. Let's see if any of you can guess this just by watching my hands. Okay. Okay? Okay. Guess the rhyme. Can Let I. me give you a hint. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. Oh. Three, oh. four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. like Can we try? I don't know why not. Let's all do it together. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. One, One two, two, buckle my shoe. shoe. Three, four, shut the door. door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big black pen. Oh, that was just wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider. Ooh and sat down beside her. And frightened Miss Muffet away. <laughs> Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. 
Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells. And pretty maids all in a row. I have never heard my rhymes done any better. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Here's some flowers for you, Mother Goose. Why, thank you, Cat. <laughs> Mother Goose, do you have a favorite nursery rhyme? Oh, my. I have so many favorites. But these flowers remind me of a rhyme and a game that I haven't thought of in a long time. Oh, oh, let's do it. Let's oh, All right, we will. Oh, good. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush, so early in the morning. Okay, here comes the cleanup part. Everybody sing. Okay. This is the way we wash our clothes. Wash our clothes, wash our clothes. This is the way we wash our clothes so early in the morning. Boom, boom, boom. This is the way we dry our clothes. Dry our clothes, dry our clothes. This is the way we dry our clothes so early in the morning. I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> this is the way we iron our clothes. Iron our clothes, iron our clothes. This is the way we iron our clothes so early in the morning. <laughs> this is the way we fold our clothes. Fold our clothes, fold our clothes. This is the way we fold our clothes so early in the morning. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, everyone looks neat and pretty now. Your clothes look just fine. And my book looks just fine again, too. Oh, it's full of Mother Goose rhymes, thanks to all of you. Oh, you're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> my pleasure. But that means it's really time for me to go back to my book. Oh, please stay. Oh, and I know. There are so many places I need to be getting to. <laughs> Wherever there are children reading my rhymes or, or hearing my rhymes read to them, that's where I have to be. That's okay, Mother Goose. We understand. Oh, yeah, okay. But you will be able to visit with us again, won't you, Mother Goose? Oh, my, yes. Oh, good. Oh, you children can look me up anytime. I'm in the book. Oh, <laughs> the book. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, 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 Bye. So long. Thanks for coming. Oh, oh. Look. Wow. We've shared my special rhymes. It's true. Now sing me a song that's special to you. Oh, that's easy. I know a song that's special because it's about all of my special friends. And we all know that one. Sure, yeah. <laughs> we sure do. <laughs> oh.
Oh, hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We sure had a good time with Mother Goose's book of nursery rhymes. In that one book, there were so many fun things to do and so many fun people to visit with. Old King Cole, the three little kittens, and little Miss Muffet. <laughs> Inside that one book, we found stories, games, songs, and lots more. And all it took was our imagination to bring it all to life. And you can bring books to life in your imagination, too. Whether you read the words or have someone read to you. Or even if you just look at the pictures. Books are a lot of fun. Today, take one of your favorite books and look through the pages. Then make believe what it would be like if your book came to life. I just love to use my imagination like that. And you know what? I love you. Can I play too? Sure! Okay then! <laughs> oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam And the deer and the antelope play Where seldom is heard a discouraging word And the skies are not cloudy all day <laughs>
just look at all of you. You're a real bunch of rootin' tootin' cowboys and cowgirls. Oh, yay, Marty. Marty. Does this have something to do with what you learned in school today? Yup. In school, we've been learning about homes. Homes for people and homes for animals. And today, we learned that a home for a horse is called a stable. Oh, and do these horses have a stable to live in? Sure, it's in our classroom. Come on, everybody, giddy up! Okay! <laughs> Gosh, look at all the pretty pictures of animal homes. There sure are a lot of different kinds. Tomorrow, our teacher's gonna read us a story about animal homes. Ooh, that sounds like fun. But Michael and I aren't in this class anymore, so I guess we won't hear the story. Hey, I know. Why don't I tell a story right now? All we need is some imagination and these pretty pictures right here. Oh, hey, oh, yes. <laughs> this is the story of animals and their homes. The tiny ant, whose work never ends, lives in a hill with all its friends. The honeybee flies with a buzz, 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 then goes home to a hive. Yes, he does, does, does. <laughs> the spider's home is a pretty place. It spins a web that looks like lace. From a nest in a tree, cheep, cheep is heard, because that's the home of a baby bird. A home underground may seem a bit funny, but a burrow makes a nice home for a bunny. Another animal who lives in a hole is a cute little animal called a mole. <laughs> the monkey loves to jump and play, but a tree is her home at the end of the day. At the top of the world where cold winds blow, the polar bear's home is under the snow. But the biggest home you'll find anywhere is the one big home that all of us share. The birds and the bugs and the animals, too, share a home called Earth with me and you. Oh, it was fun. And there were so many nice pictures, and there were different kinds of homes for every kind of animal. But can you think of any animal homes we didn't see? How about a brown bear? He lives in the woods. Oh, 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 oh. Or a hamster like Zippity who lives in a cage. Uh -huh. Barney, I can't think of any other animal homes. Oh, that's okay. Why don't you think about different kinds of homes for people? Aren't people's homes all the same? Oh, there are lots and lots of different homes that people live in. Just look. Oh, oh, awesome. oh, 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 Just imagine what it would be like to live here. I could be a princess. Ooh. Or here, I could live way up on the very top floor. Oh, why don't we all imagine what it's like to live in different kinds of homes? Okay. <laughs> It's called 
igloo, and it's made from ice and snow. <laughs> wow. That's cool, isn't it? That's right, Michael. There are people called Eskimos who live where it's very cold, and they build igloos to sleep in when they go hunting or fishing. I wish we could build an igloo, but we don't have any snow. Maybe we could use something else. Right, Barney? Let's use our imaginations. <laughs> now, close your eyes, say the magic words, and wish really hard. Shimboree, shimbora, shimboree, shimbora. <laughs> There you go! Uh, say, where did you go? In here, Barney! Oh, oh hi! Oh, come on out! Wow! Here they come! One by one! Wow! Isn't it terrific? Boy, this egg is great! It's really cold in there! It's just like winter! It sure is! <laughs> Winter's wonderful, it's so beautiful, the air is cold and clear. Snow is sparkling, trees are glistening, it's that time of year. I love to see the icicles, the great big snowflakes too. like our make-believe winter is all over. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of winter left. Huh? Look! What? Oh. 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 Ooh. What if your home were in the water? Oh. Can you imagine what it would be like? It would look like that. Look at all the different kinds of ocean animals. <laughs> well, and we would look like this. Oh, 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 oh what a silly face. <laughs> and we wouldn't walk anywhere. We'd just swim uh -huh. by flipping our tails. Oh, oh look at all the little fishies. <laughs> and if I were a whale, I could splash everyone when I jumped out of the water. Splash, 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 splash. <laughs> oh, I think I'm all wet. <laughs> if I lived under the sea, 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 I think it would be neat as it could be, be, be. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish, if I lived under the sea. I could wave to a whale, even ride on his tail. Wow, that would be great. I could count the legs on a friendly octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It would be so new to watch a tuna talking with an itty bitty snail. Or see the pretty fin on the back of a fish who always has his very own sound. If I lived under the sea, 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 I think it would be neat as it could be, be, be. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish if I lived under the sea. Boy, that was fun. It was, but you know what? I don't 
don't think I'd like to live in the ocean. It's too big. <laughs> I guess the ocean is about the biggest home you could have. But what's the smallest home you can think of? Well, a doghouse is pretty small, uh -huh. but a beehive is even smaller. <laughs> How about a bird's nest? That's a very small home. Mm -hmm. I know a home that's so small there's only room for one little bug inside. Oh, what kind of home is that? I'll show you. Oh, okay. <laughs> The pond was the frog's home, and it was safe there from the hungry owl. Because owls can't swim in the water. <laughs> That's right. Most animals try to find or build homes that will keep them safe from danger. Well, I know some silly animals who build homes that didn't keep them safe at all. What animals? The three little pigs. Uh oh, and what kind of homes did they have? <laughs> well, I could tell you, but it would be a lot more fun if we could show you. Oh, boy, this sounds like it's going to be super deep duper. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Curly Tail. Oink. Twirly tail. Oink, oink. And swirly tail. Oink, oink, oink. These three little pigs love to have fun and dance all day. <laughs> but all three pigs were also scared of the big bad wolf. Oh, oh, oh. That's me. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, he, he is scary. Oh. That mean old wolf wants to eat us up. We need to build some homes to keep us safe. I'll build my house from straw. That'll be easy. Oink. I'll build my house from sticks. That'll be easy too. Oink, oink. I think I'll build my house out of bricks, but it'll be hard work. Oink, oink, oink. Hard work, ew. Oink, oink. <laughs> and so the three little pigs started to build their homes. Curly Tail was the first one finished. Our house was easy. Now I can dance and play. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, well, well, well. A pig, I see. You'll make a yummy meal for me. <laughs> little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <sighs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> Building a stick house was easy. Now I can dance and play. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Twirly tail, the wolf is coming. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, well, well. Two pigs, I see. You'll make two yummy meals for me. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Building a brick house is sure hard work, but it is very strong. <laughs> Rolly tail, the wolf is coming! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> well, well, well. Three pigs, I see. You'll make three yummy meals for me. Oh, scary! Oh, oh. Oink! Oink, 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 oink! Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> all right, all right, that one didn't count. I wasn't ready. But this time I'm going to blow your house down. Okay. You're asking for it. I'm going to do the biggest huff and puff ever. <laughs> he blew himself out. Good. <laughs> and the lesson of the story is... Do your work the right way before you take the time to play. <laughs> So let's play! Stupendous performance! Incredible! Bravo! Oh, oh, what a bunch of talented actors! Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! I'm glad you liked our play, Barney. Liked it? I loved it! <laughs> Barney, what's the very best kind of home? Ooh, that's a good question. We've talked about lots of homes today. I know a brick home's better than one made of straw or sticks. Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> and the ocean is a good home for a whale. And there were birds' nests and beehives and castles and cocoons. But I'm not sure which is the very best home. Well, I know. You do? Sure, the best home is any home with your family. Oh, I believe you're right. <laughs> Family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. A cat and a dog and a pet bullfrog and I'm really glad they do. Oh, a family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. There's a girl I know who lives with her mom. Her dad Although she sees her parents just one at a time, they both love her every day. Oh, a family is people and a family is love. That's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. Come
gee, we've been talking about homes so much that it's getting kind of late. We should be going to our own homes. <laughs> okay. You're right, Michael. <laughs> we've learned about a lot of different homes today, but there's one thing that all homes need, and that's love. <laughs> I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me too? I love you, you love me We're best friends like friends should be With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? Well, I'd better be going. Okay. Bye, Barney. See you soon. So long. <laughs> Again to all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We found out that there are lots of different homes in the world. A different kind of home for everyone and everything. Our animal friends live in some really neat homes. <laughs> and some of our animal friends live in the water, like fish and whales, and snails, and one of my favorites, the octopus. <laughs> oh, and we can't forget our furry friend Zippity. He lives in a special home at school. And I really like the three little pigs play. Curly Tail built her house out of straw, but the big bad wolf blew it down. Ooh. And Twirly Tail built her house out of sticks. But the big bad wolf blew it down too. Oh, oh. Then Swirly Tail worked hard to build her house out of bricks. And the big bad wolf huffed and puffed and huffed and puffed but couldn't blow it down. The brick house was too strong. Hooray for Swirly Tail! Oh, oh, oh. You know, people live in lots of different kinds of homes too. Some are big, and others are small. We learned that some people live where it's very cold, and they make their homes out of ice and snow. These homes are called igloos. But no matter where you live, remember that a home is a place to live in, to eat and sleep and be with the people you love and care about. Yes, that's a home to me. And remember, I love you.
Jared painted that gorilla over there. Look at this one, Carol. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Where'd all these neat pictures come from? Today, we painted pictures of our favorite animals, and the teacher put them all over the room. Look, there's an elephant, and there's a giraffe. Oh, and there's a zebra back there. Yeah. And, well, I don't know what animal that is. That's mine. I'm not a very good painter. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Sean. Why don't you tell me about your picture? Well, it's got three yellow toes on each foot. Yeah. And it's got a green tummy. Uh-huh. And it's real big and purple all over and one of our best friends. Well, it's a painting of Barney. Don't yeah, you think so? It doesn't look does. much like Barney, it. does it? Don't worry, Sean. Barney would love any picture you painted of him. Yeah, yeah he, he would. would. <gasps> That's right. Hey, <laughs> Lucy's right, Sean. Your painting of me is terrific. You're a wonderful artist. Thanks, Barney. <laughs> Our classes are learning about animals, Barney. We went to the zoo last week. Ooh. And we brought our pet to a show and tell yesterday. Oh, that must have been fun. Well, why don't we sing a song about animals right now? Okay, which one? How about Bought Me a Cat? Come right. on, Oh, I love this one. <laughs> Boy, oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Bought me a cat and a cat pleased me. I fed my cat under yonder tree. Cat goes fiddle I be. Bought me a hen and the hen pleased me. I fed my Tree. Hen goes to me, duck to me, duck. Cat goes to like me. Bought me a duck and the duck pleased me. I fed my duck under yonder tree. Duck goes quack, quack. Hen goes to me, check, to me, check. Cat goes to like me. Bought me a goose and the goose pleased me. I fed my goose under yonder tree. Goose goes hissy, hissy. Duck goes quack, quack. Hen goes to me, check, to me, check. Cat goes to like me. Bought me a sheep and the sheep pleased me. I fed my sheep under yonder tree. our imagination, we can go to a farm right now. Yeah, wow. Sure. Okay, let's hold hands, close your eyes tight, and wish really hard, and say the magic words with me. Shimbari, shimbara, shimbari, shimbara. Oh, wow. Look at this. Here we are at the farm, Barney. But we're at the end. Oh, they'll be here soon. But first, we're going to play a game. Oh, this is <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A farmer friend of mine has brought some of his animals. I'll give you a knock-knock rhyme, and you guess which animal I'm talking about. Okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Knock-knock. Who's there? I go quack-quack, not cluck-cluck. I waddle when I walk. I am a... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Tina's right. <laughs> this is my friend, Farmer Henderson. Hi, kids. This is my duck, Doris. Oh, she's cute. You know, Barney, this duck reminds me of a song. You mean... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Down to the river they would 
<laughs> Say goodbye to Doris, kids. <laughs> we'll see you, Doris. Doris. Bye. 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 <laughs> Marty, do another knock knock rhyme for us, please. <laughs> okay. Knock knock. Who's there? You'll love my curly tail, and I grow up to be really big. I squeal, oink, oink, I am a... That's gotta be a pig. Oh, let's see if Lucy's right. <laughs> oh. 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 You're right, Lucy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Kids, I want you to meet Penelope, my pig. Uh, hi, Penelope. Hi, Penelope. <laughs> hey, Tina, why don't you and Sean teach Penelope this little piggy? Jack, <laughs> and you can show this to all your little brothers and sisters. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy ate roast beef. This little piggy had none. This little piggy cried wee, wee, wee all the way home. <laughs> Tina, why don't you do it with me? Uh, just in case Penelope didn't learn it the first time. Okay. <laughs> this, this little piggy went, went to market. market. This, this little piggy stayed home. This little piggy ate roast beef, and, and this, this little piggy had none. This little piggy cried wee, 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 all the way home. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> well, kids, say goodbye to Penelope. I'm going to take her back to her mother now. OK. Bye, Bye Penelope. Penelope. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> this is Bye. so much fun. <laughs> Ready for another one, kids? Yeah. yeah. Okay, knock knock. Who's there? I'm soft and fuzzy. Yes, I am. My mommy goes ba ba. I am a lamb. Oh, that's right, Sean. Oh, look. Oh. Lamb. Oh. Right there. <laughs> Kids, this is Lillian, my little lamb. Hello, Lillian. Hi, Lillian. <laughs> You know, when I was your age, some of my favorite songs and rhymes were about lambs, just like Lillian. Will you sing one for us? Sure. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Bo Peep. That's a great rhyme. You say it the first time, then we'll join in. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. I can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. <laughs> now you say it with me. Okay. okay. <laughs> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. I can't tell where to find them. them. Leave them alone and they'll come home. Wagging their, their tails, tails behind them. Bye, Lily. Bye, Lily. Bye, Lily. Bye, Lily. Bye, Lily. Bye, Lily. Bye, Hey, Barney, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Let's play the game of Mother May I, and yeah. we can move like farm animals. That would sure. be fun. That's a great idea. Okay, I'll be over here and okay. be the mother, and you can be the animals. Okay, great. <laughs> We're ready, Lucy. You can start now. Okay, you may take three chicken steps. Mother, Mother may, may I? I? Yes, you may. <laughs> <laughs> you may take four bunny rabbit hops. Mother, Mother may, may I? I? Yes, you may. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <laughs> you may take three duck waddles. Mother, Mother may, may I? I? No, you may not. Quack, 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 quack. She didn't say. Oh. 
Yes, you may. Oh, shucks. <laughs> now I'll say it. Yes, you may take three duck waddles. Okay. <laughs> you may take four prancing pony steps. Mother, may I? Yes, you may. <laughs> you may take one little fishy jump. Mother, may I? Yes, you may. Splash! Whoa, looks like you all jumped into my boat. Yeah, you caught us all. <laughs> you know, I remember fishing one day when I wasn't so lucky. Tell us about it. Okay, let's step into my make-believe fishing boat. Wow! Wow! Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on the right. Where is he fishing, Barney? That fish are really biting today. <laughs> Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on the right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a real fish story, Barney. Well, while we're making rhymes about animals, I can teach you one about a bear. Okay, which one? Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? <laughs> can you say it with me? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had, had no hair. hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? Oh, I like animal rhymes. <laughs> Speaking of animal rhymes, let's play Knock Knock again. We can't, Derek. We're in the middle of a lake. Oh, not for long. <laughs> <I like that. laughs> now, let's see. Which animal should we do this time? Hmm? Pick a real good farm animal, Barney. <laughs> That's what we came to see. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? I eat grass and make milk for you now. I go moo, moo. I must be a... Cow! He oh, was see. right. Oh, oh. Hi, dear. <laughs> this is Cleopatra, my baby cow. Isn't she pretty? <laughs> She's such a sweet little calf. Don't you mean baby cow? You're both words, Sean. A baby cow is called a cow. Visiting the farm can be so exciting when you get to see animals like this. Oh, but there are lots of other fun things to do on a farm, Lucy. Like what, Barney? Why, singing and dancing. It's time we all square dance to a good old-fashioned barnyard tune like Turkey in the Straw. Yeah! yeah. Okay, okay. Bye-bye. See you, Cleo. Bye, Cleo. Bye-bye. Here we go! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho. As I was going on down the road with a tired team and a heavy load, I cracked my whip and the leader sprung and I said bye bye to the wagon tongue. <laughs> Turkey in the straw. Turkey in the straw. Roll him up and twist him up a high, tuck a high, and hit him up a tin called Turkey in the straw. <laughs> when I do milk and I didn't know how I milked the goat instead of the cow A monkey sitting on a pile of straw A winking at his mother-in-law What? <laughs> Turkey, Turkey in the straw Turkey in the straw Roll him up and twist him up a high Tuck a haw and hit him up a tin Call Turkey in the straw <laughs> On a warm and sunny day when all of the fish were swimming in the bay With their hands in their pockets and their pockets in their pants Did you ever see a fishy do the hoochie coochie dance? Oh, 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 oh. Turkey in the straw Turkey in the straw Roll them up and twist them up behind Tuck a haw and hit them up a tune called Turkey in the straw Oh, 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 o
Spray dancing was so much fun. What a neat song. I'm glad you liked it. But now I think it's time for another knock-knock rhyme. Hmm. Okay, Tina, I'm ready with another one. Here goes. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> I'm yellow and fluffy. I run really quick. My daddy's a rooster. I'm a little... A little baby chick. Well, here's Farmer Henderson. Let's see if Sean's right. See, I told you it'd be a chick. Wait a minute. It's an egg. Well, you were right, Sean. It is a little baby chick. But it's not born yet. How are baby chicks born? Well, the mama hen sits on the nest to keep the egg warm until the baby chick is ready to come out. But we don't have a hen to sit on the nest. Hmm. Barney! Oh, 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 no. You can sit on the nest until the egg hatches. Oh, I'm too big to sit on that little nest, Derek. I might break the egg. Then maybe you could hold the egg and keep it warm until it hatches. Maybe that would work. Oh, boy, oh, boy, I always wanted to be a mama hen. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, okay. Keep that egg warm, Barney, and we'll have a baby chick on the farm in no time. Oh, boy. And while you're hatching that little egg, we'll sing a song for you all about animal mothers and their little babies. Okay. <laughs> John, just take a look. Wow, our baby chick is born. Oh, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> you did it, Barney. You had the egg. The chick thinks you're her mommy. Oh, I love this little baby chick. Hey, let's call her Henrietta. That's a great name. <laughs> Hello, Henrietta. Welcome to the world, Henrietta. You're the prettiest chick I've ever seen. Cheep, cheep, peep, peep, Henrietta. She probably understands chicken talk better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd better take Henrietta back to her real mommy where she'll grow up big and strong. Bye, <laughs> Henrietta. Bye, Bye. Farmer Henderson, will you do a knock knock with us, please? How about just one more for us to guess? I've got a very unusual animal. Uh, Piece of cake. Okay. We can do it. it. That would be easy, easy, I bet. I'm big and I'm friendly. I give hugs and much more. I'm the purplish creature. I'm Barney the Dinosaur! Oh, how'd you ever guess? Oh, whoa! Oh, Farmer Henderson was right. I love hugs. Oh. Thanks for bringing us to the farm, Barney. It was great to meet all these animals. And singing about them. I like the farm animal rhymes. Uh-huh, because you can say them with friends or by yourself. Hey, why don't we sing one more barnyard favorite for Farmer Henderson before we have to leave? Sure. How about down on Grandpa's farm? Yeah! Oh, I'd love to hear that. Great. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Farm. Down on Grandpa's farm there is a black and white cow. Down on Grandpa's farm there is a black and white cow. The cow, 
She makes a sound like this. Moo moo. The cow. She makes a sound like this. Moo moo. We're on our way. We're on our way. On our way to Grandpa's farm. That's right. We're on our way. We're on our way. On our way to Grandpa's farm. Down on Grandpa's farm there is a little yellow duck. Down on Grandpa's farm there is a little yellow duck. The duck. He makes a sound like this. Quack, quack. <laughs> the duck. He makes a sound like this. Quack, quack. We're on our way. We're on our way. On our way to Grandpa's farm. We're on our way. We're on our way. On our way to Grandpa's farm. Down on Grandpa's farm there is a great big pig. Down on Grandpa's farm there is a great big pig. The pig. She makes a sound like this. The pig, she makes a sound like this. Oink, oink. We're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. We're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a little black skunk. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a little black skunk. The skunk, he always smells like this. P.U. The skunk. He always smells like this. P.U. We're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. Come on. We're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. Oh, we're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. We're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to Grandpa's farm. Thanks for singing for me, kid. You're wonderful singers. Thank you. <laughs> well, I guess I better go back to the animals now. Y'all come and see me real soon because Henrietta, Cleopatra, Lillian, and Penelope will really miss you. <laughs> we'll miss them too. Don't forget the duck. Bye-bye, Farmer Henderson. Slow. Thanks for freaking your animals. <laughs> Thanks for showing us all the farm animals, Barney. <laughs> animals can be really special friends. Well, it's time for us to be going now, but there's something we haven't done yet. Hmm? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Again to all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We had a fun, fun, fun day with the animals. <laughs> we sang songs about animals, like Bought Me a Cat. Oh, that was a great song. <laughs> then Farmer Henderson shared his farm animals with us. And we made animal sounds, like quack, quack, quack. Oh, that's a duck. <laughs> And the cow goes, moo, moo. And the pig says, oink, oink, oink. And the baby chick says, peep, peep. And the lamb goes, ba, ba, ba. And the yellow hen says, bark, bark. And the skunk says, uh, well, <laughs> well, we say, pee, you. <laughs> There were more animal songs, like our fishing song. How many fish do you think you could catch? And then we square danced to Turkey in the Straw. 
Another fun thing to do is to make pictures of your favorite animals. Try making a pretend zoo with your friends by painting your own animal pictures. And remember, I love you. <laughs>
when we look for a bird with our binoculars. There it is! Oh, 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 what does it look like? It has a white tummy and black wings. Oh. And it has a red head, like me! Oh. <laughs> what kind of bird was that? I'm not sure, but the sound was coming from over there. Wait, I see it. And it's a very strange bird. Oh? Yeah, it's bright yellow. With purple spots. Mm -hmm. And a bright green tummy. And... Mm, big red tennis shoes. Big, big red, red tennis, tennis shoes? shoes? Yes, they're tennis shoes. And they're big and red. That's not a bird. It's BJ! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Barney. Oh, hi, hi, DJ. Hi. How you doing? What are you doing on the tree stump, BJ? Oh, I'll come down and show you. Look out below. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait until I show you what I found. It's so exciting. Oh, oh. What is it? Well, it looks like some sort of a note. BJ, why don't you read it for everyone? Okay. It says, an, an, an adventure in make-believe. Oh, wow. A beautiful princess is waiting for you in the make-believe jungle. Please come and show her the way home. Oh, a princess! Oh, my! Oh, this is really exciting. There's just one problem. I don't know where the make-believe jungle is. That's why I climbed up on the tree stump. I thought maybe I could see it from up there. Well, maybe we can see... It from up there! Come oh. on, let's look! Okay. Oh, all right, good idea. Oh, but you can't find the make-believe jungle just by using your eyes. You can't? Nope, because the make-believe jungle is right here in this playground. What? Yes. <laughs> and you can only see it by using your imagination. You mean by pretending? That's right. Oh, I don't know. It just looks like a playground to me. Oh, but if you use your imagination, anything can happen. <laughs> just imagine, just imagine, just imagine all the things that we could be. Imagine all the places we could go and see. Imagination's fun for you and me. We could go to the moon in a great big balloon. Build a castle by playing pretend. We might even explore with a big dinosaur. Or make rainbows that never end. Just imagine, just imagine, just imagine all the things that we could be. Imagine all the places we could go and see. Just imagine all the things that we could be. Imagine all the places we could go and see. Imagination's fun for you and me. Imagination's fun for you. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So if I imagine that this playground is the make-believe jungle, we can go find the princess, right? Right. Okay, here I go. Oh, come on, jungle. Oh. Awfully. What's the matter, BJ? I don't think I can make believe that our playground is a jungle. I guess I still need a bigger imagination. I know. We can help BJ practice using his imagination. You can? Yeah. Oh, that's us too. Pendous idea. Let's go into the classroom. There are lots of ways to practice using imagination in there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Let's go. Uh, this yeah. is great. But that would be a lot of fun. After you. After you. Thanks. Buddy. Go on, DJ. Oh. Don't go away, princess. I'll come back and save you. I promise. Ha! This is going to be such fun. <laughs> we can stretch your imagination by pretending lots of things. Like what? Well, we could pretend we're um... We could pretend that we're kangaroos. Oh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> or we can pretend that we're astronauts flying in a real rocket to the moon. Hey, we could oh. pretend we're in a rocket. Oh, I wonder what David is pretending. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. BJ, you can also pretend that you're in a different place. Oh, what kind of place? Maybe someplace like this. Oh. Can we pretend that we live underwater just like fish? Of course we can. Whatever you wish. If I lived under I think it would be neat as it could be, be, be. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish if I lived under the sea. I could ride on the tail of a great big whale. Wow, that would be great. I could count all the legs on an octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I lived under the sea, 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 I think it would be neat as it could be, be, be. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish if I lived under the sea. It would be so new to watch a tuna talking with an itty bitty snail. Or to see the big fin on the back of a fish who carries his very own tail. If I lived under the sea, 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 I think it would be neat as it could be, be, be. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish if I lived under the sea. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish if I lived under the sea. Oh, I like the <laughs> sailfish. Yeah. I like making bubbles. <laughs> That was great. I felt like we were really underwater. So did I. <laughs> imagination lets us pretend to go lots of different places. Of yeah. course, another way to use imagination is to pretend that you're a different person. So I could pretend that I'm someone big and brave when I go looking for the princess in the make-believe jungle. You got it. I know who I'd like to pretend to be. Who? Well, I could tell you, but it would be more fun to show you. <laughs> Barney, will you please help me? Okay. What do I? Oh, uh -huh. <gasps> Yahoo! My name is Buckaroo Barney, and I'd like to present the pretend queen of the Wild West. Here comes Cowgirl Man. Howdy, partners. Howdy, <laughs> man. Howdy. Uh -huh. Give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard. Discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Oh, 
Say, Miss Min, how about showing us some fancy roping? Okay, watch this. Discouraging word And the skies are not cloudy all day Yeah! 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 That was terrific, Barney! I like pretending games! Well, so do I! Using your imagination is a great way to play! <laughs> Let's see! We pretended to go other places and pretended to be other people! Uh -huh. What else can we do with imagination? Well, we can make believe that things turn into other things. How do you do that? It's easy, BJ. See, I can pretend that this block is really a telephone. Ring, ring. Hello? Oh, how are you? That's great. <laughs> hey, look what I found. See these big pinwheels? Uh -huh. What if we pretend that they're airplane propellers? Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> The pinwheels could be like the propeller on a real airplane. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, I'd really like to pretend to fly an airplane. Well, oh, then it's time to vote. <laughs> How many want to pretend to fly in an airplane? Oh, me. <laughs> okay, oh, that's one, two, ah. three, yes. four, and five. Five. Oh, that's oh. everybody. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, everybody. Get on board the airplane. All right. This is the airport control tower calling Captain BJ. Are you ready to take off? Ready to take off. And here we go. <laughs> We've done lots of fun pretending. Now, are you ready to use your imagination and look for the make-believe jungle? I sure am. <laughs> okay. I'm pretending that our playground is a make-believe jungle. A jungle with birds and animals and... And I see it! I did it! <laughs> Oh. You've got a big imagination. 
imagination, BJ. Yeah. Oh, you sure do. Now, are you ready to look for the beautiful princess? I'm ready. Follow me, everybody. Okay. We're going on a jungle adventure to see what we can see. There's a lion and a tiger and a great big monkey swinging on the branch of a tree. It looks like a chimpanzee. <laughs> oh, here in the jungle you can hear the lions roar. Rawr! Rhinoceros and tigers and so much more. Hear the snakes hissing in the grass below. See the silly monkeys putting on a show. The jungle is the place to go. Oh, oh, princess! Princess! Where are you, princess? Are you, princess? Oh, princess! We're going on a jungle adventure to see what we can see. There's a great big elephant taking a bath, getting clean as he can be. I, I hope he doesn't step on me. <laughs> oh, here in the jungle you can hear the lions roar. Let's look over here. Oh, here in the jungle, you can hear the lions roar. Rawr! Rhinoceros and tigers and so much more. Hear the snakes hissing in the grass below. See the silly monkeys putting on a show. The jungle is the place to go. Oh, princess! Princess, where are you? We're trying to find you. I just know that the princess must be around here somewhere. Oh, princess, where are you? Hey, look over there. Huh? It's the princess, and I'm going to be big and brave and save her. Come on. Okay. Don't be afraid, princess. I've come to show you the way home. Hi, BJ. Oh. Baby, Bob. <laughs> it's Sissy. Uh-uh. I'm Princess Baby Bob. I play make-believe. Just like us. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Baby Bob doesn't know how to write. So who wrote the note about an adventure in make-believe? <laughs> Barney? Well, I imagine that this would be a lot of fun. It was fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, what's the matter, BJ? Well, if this was all just a game of pretend, then I didn't really have to help the princess find her way home. Oh, yes, you did. I can't walk home without my big, brave brother. <laughs> big and brave? Me? Really? Yeah. Ah, thanks, Sissy. Oh. <laughs> I never imagined we'd be doing all this today. Oh, that's the wonderful thing about imagination. It's full of surprises. Oh. Oh. See? Oh. <laughs> just imagine, just imagine, just imagine all the things that we could be. Imagine all the places we could go and see. Imagination's fun for you and me. We can go anywhere, we can be anyone. We can do it quite easily too. We just play, let's pretend, and we know in the end that it's so much fun to do. Just imagine, just imagine, just imagine all the things that we could be. Imagine all the places we could go and see. Imagination's fun for you and me. Imagination's fun for you. 
<laughs> okay, Princess. I think it's time for us to be going home now. Oh, I like it when you call me Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Barney. Bye, guys. Thanks for the fun day. Oh, sure. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-
It's a lion! Hi, Sean! Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, Hi, Julia! What are you doing? Sean and I were playing zoo. Oh, oh and Brian yes. was visiting with a friend. Oh, it looks oh that like looks like fun. fun. I sure yeah. was visiting your zoo. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, I like your zoo. It's very nice. Thank you, Barney. <laughs> we can learn a lot about animals at the zoo. My dad took me there last week, and the zookeeper told me that elephants run on their tiptoes like this. Oh, oh. Derek, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Moving like animals can be lots of fun. Let's try it with a little music. <laughs> Waddle like a duck, hop like a froggy, fly like an eagle too. We can slither like a snake, gallop like a horse, that's what we can do. <laughs> okay, let's have some fun now. Mm, someone pick an animal and we'll move like it does. <laughs> okay, let's waddle like a duck. Like a horse! Look, here we go! Oh boy! We just waddle like a duck, hop like a froggy, flew like an eagle too. We slither like a snake, gallop like a horse, that's what we did do. That's what we <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I'm glad there's so many different animals, but Barney, why do some live in zoos? Well, many animals live far, far away from us. Zoos let us see animals from all over the world in one place. Zoos try to make the animals new home, just like their old home. Mm -hmm. And zoos protect endangered animals, too. Endangered? Endangered means there aren't very many left. So the zoo is a safe place for those animals to live. Mm -hmm. Hey, why don't we all make another zoo? Bigger than that one, Ooh. with lots more animals. Tina and I can make some signs. Okay. What animal should we have in our zoo? Mm -hmm. I know. Let's use the alphabet to help us think of animal names. Oh, okay. We may not be able to use all the letters of the alphabet, but let's give it a try. <laughs> we'll call it the alphabet Zoo. Let's get started! We're on our way to the Alphabet Zoo. <laughs> oh, whoops, here's a sign. S-T-O-P. That spells stop. Ooh, be sure to stop and watch out for cars when you see this sign. We should always stop, look, and listen. Right, Barney? That's right, Julie. Okay, everybody, now look both ways before crossing. <laughs> okay then, let's go. Oh my, here's another sign. What do these two R's mean? R R stands for railroad. Some zoos have little railroad chains that you can ride in around the zoo. Oh boy, oh boy, I love to ride on a train. <laughs> Is that a train I hear coming now? Down by the station, 
early in the morning. See the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the station master turn the little handle. Puff, puff, toot, toot, off we go. Puff, toot, toot. Oh, oh, look, here's another <gasps> sign. Z O O. That spells zoo. Yeah. The arrow says to go this way, so let's go in and see all the animals in our zoo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Barney, we'll show you our ABC animals first. ABC animals? Great. <laughs> is for alligator. B is for bear. And C must be for... Uh, uh, what is C for? You have to read this rhyme and guess, Barney. Oh, a guessing game. Oh, I love guessing games. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. <laughs> hmm, let's see what the rhyme says about our mystery animal. <clears throat> If you ride on my back, you'll go bumpity bump. I live in the desert and have one or two humps. Who am I? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, what could it be? An animal that lives in the desert, has a hump on its back, and a name that starts with C. Is it a camel? Oh, oh, oh boy! For camel. Oh, I've seen camels with one hump and camels with two humps, but there's only one camel with five humps. Sally the camel. Ho, ho, ho. Sally the camel has five humps. Sally the camel has five humps. Sally the camel has five humps. So ride, Sally, ride, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Sally the camel has four humps. Sally the camel has four humps. Sally the camel has four humps. So ride, Sally, ride, boom, 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 boom. Sally the camel has three humps. Sally the camel has three humps. Sally the camel has three humps. So ride, Sally, ride, boom. very long. Who am I? Do you know? Hmm. Spotted all over. Mm -hmm. A leopard has spots. Is it a leopard? Try again. Giraffes have spots. Oh, they sure do. And a long neck, too. That's right again. <laughs> Is it a giraffe? That's right. Oh. G for giraffe. Oh, good job. Oh, and here oh. he is. Oh, oh I look, it is a giraffe. It might be too he and does have a too. long neck. I read about a bird in this book. It makes it sound like he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> laughing? Really? Mm -hmm. What bird is it? Its name starts with the letter K for Kookaburra. Oh, <laughs> Kookaburra. That's a funny name. Kookaburra. 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 
Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, Kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra day your life must be. <laughs> Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, eating all the gumdrops he can see. Stop, Kookaburra, stop. Kookaburra, leave some there for me. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, merry, merry king of the bush is he. Laugh, Kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra, gay your life must be. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, eating all the gumdrops he can see. Stop, Kookaburra, stop. Kookaburra, leave some there for me. <laughs> I've never seen a kookaburra. Where do they live? They live far away in a place called Australia. I have an aunt who's been there. She's visiting us this week and said she would come to see our school today. Oh, really? Right. Has your aunt really been to Australia? Uh-huh, she's traveled all over the world, and when she comes home, she always brings something back for me. <laughs> goody, goody! <laughs> my aunt came back, my aunt came back, from old Algiers, from old Algiers, and brought me back, and brought me back, a pair of shears, a pair of shears. My aunt came back, my aunt came back, from Holland too, from Holland too, and brought me back, and brought me back, a wooden shoe, a wooden shoe. My aunt I wouldn't miss a chance to see your classroom and meet your friends. I already met Jason. He was outside playing with friends and helped me find you. Thanks, Jason. You're welcome. Aunt Molly, these are my other friends. Tina, Derek, Sean, and Barney. Everybody, this is my Aunt Molly. Hi, Hi there. Me too. Oh, I've wanted to meet you for a long time, Molly. Julie has told me all about you and the stories you tell. <laughs> Thank you, Barney. I just love telling stories. Good. My, what a nice classroom you have. And, ooh, I like this zoo. We made it today. The animals' names begin with different letters of the alphabet. C, M is for monkey. All these animals remind me of a story I know. Would you like to hear it? Oh, please. Yeah, sure. okay. But I'll need some help telling it. Okay. You all can make a hopping rabbit, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. a fox with a bushy tail, uh -huh. a grouchy wolf, uh -huh. <laughs> and a buzzing bee. Once there was a boy who had three goats. Every morning, he would take the goats to the pasture to play. And every evening, he would take them to sleep at the barn. But one evening, the goats jumped the fence into the garden and began to eat the vegetables. The boy tried to get them out of the garden. He pulled on them with the rope. He clapped his hands. He called their names. But the goats wouldn't even look up. So the boy sat down and started to cry. And at that very moment, a little rabbit came hopping up. Boy, why are you crying? Well, I'm crying because I can't get my goats out of the garden. Ah, that's easy. I'll do it. So the little rabbit hopped into the garden. Well. He waved his floppy ears and he twitched his little cotton tail, but the goats wouldn't even look up. So the rabbit sat down next to the boy 
and he started to cry. Mm -hmm. And at that very moment, a fox came running through the pasture. Mm -hmm. Rabbit, why are you crying? Well, I'm crying because the boy is crying, and the boy is crying because he can't get the goats out of the garden. <laughs> oh, that's easy. I'll do it. So the fox ran into the garden, and she flashed her bushy tail, but the goats wouldn't even look up. So the fox sat down, and she started to cry. And at that very moment, a wolf came walking down the road. Fox, why are you crying? Well, I'm crying because the rabbit's crying, and the rabbit's crying because the boy is crying, and the boy is crying because he can't get his goats out of the garden. That's easy. I'll do it. Been looking for someone to scare all day. So the wolf sneaked into the garden and he jumped out at the goats. And he made faces at the goats. He even huffed and puffed. But the goats wouldn't even look up. So the wolf sat down and he started to cry. And at that very moment, a little bumblebee came buzzing up. And she said, Wolf, why are you crying? Well, I'm crying because the fox, the fox is crying, and the fox is crying because the rabbit's crying, and the rabbit's crying because the boy is crying. The boy is crying because he can't get his goats out of the garden. Well, that's easy. I'll do it. And everybody stopped crying. A little bumblebee was going to get those goats out of the garden. Well, she buzzed into the garden, and she buzzed around those goats, and she landed on the nose of the very biggest one. And you know what that bumblebee did? She began to dance, a little dance. And the goat began to laugh a little bit <laughs> until he saw what was making him laugh. A bee! He jumped into the air, and the goats ran out of the garden. One, two, three. <laughs> the little bumblebee buzzed away. The wolf walked back down the road. The fox ran back through the pasture. The rabbit hopped into the garden. And the boy took the goats back to the barn. Oh, yay! Yeah. Oh, that was great! Thank you for the fun story, Molly. Yeah, it's <laughs> Mr. Rick. I'm glad you all liked it. Mm -hmm. Well, I better be going now. I'm helping your dad cook dinner tonight. Oh. Okay, well, we nice to meet you. Oh, that's nice so much again, fun. Yeah. <laughs> May I? Thank you, Barnum. Oh, Bye, certainly. Bye. <laughs> well, goodbye, Molly. Thanks for coming today. I loved your story. Oh, hope to see you again soon. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, well. Oh, my tummy must be growling. I haven't had my afternoon snack. <laughs> Whoa. That wasn't my tummy growling. That sounds like a... That sounds like a tiger. Oh, no! A tiger is an animal who walks around like a great big
Oh, he is big. Wow. And he's got teeth. He's got a roar. Grr. And he's got claws down underneath. And he's got stripes. Yikes. And a big tail, too. <laughs> and tea is for Tiger. Oh, your tiger masks are still stupendous. Oh, <laughs> our pretend zoo has been so much fun. Yeah. But Barney, we still have one more animal. We do? Which one is that? One of our very favorite animal friends. His name starts with the very last letter of the alphabet. Hmm. The last letter of the alphabet is... Z! That's right, Z is for Zippity. Oh, we couldn't forget our little buddy Zippity. That's right. We, <laughs> yeah, he's there. we use lots of alphabet letters for our zoo animals from A to Z. Why don't we sing the alphabet song? Good idea, and I can say the alphabet with my hands and fingers, too. With your hands and fingers? Ooh, some people who can't hear very well talk with their hands. It's called signing. <gasps> What? I'll show you. A, B, C, D. Oh, oh that looks neat. neat. Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now we've sung our ABCs. School is where we love to be. A, B, C, D. We're as happy as can be. E, F, G, H, I. Ask us and we'll tell you why. J, K, L, M, N, O. To school, to school, we love to go. P, Q, R, S, T. Why? School's the best you can't deny. Z, 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 Z. It's the place we like to be. Yay! <laughs> Jason, can you teach us how to say something else by signing? Sure. And here's something that's easy to do. And you can say it to very special friends. Like Barney. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. What did you say, Jason? I said, I love you, Barney. Oh. <laughs> I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. I love you, you love me We're best friends like friends should be With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? Bye bye, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you too See ya! Bye-bye! See you soon! again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Did you have as much fun as I did visiting our alphabet zoo? <laughs> you can use all the letters of the alphabet to make your own zoo with your friends. A is for alligator. B is for bear. And C is for camel. <laughs> 
Our friend Jason showed us how to make letters with our fingers. And he taught me how to sign my absolutely, positively favorite thing to say. I love you. Tasha has a surprise. Tell a friend. Oh, you are Tasha. Marty! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, do you really have a surprise, Tasha? I sure do, but I'm not telling. Can we try to guess? You can try. Is it your birthday? No. Did you get a new toy? No. Did you ride to school on an elephant who was wearing bright orange tennis shoes? <laughs> It was just a guess. <laughs> did something special happen in your family? It sure did. Did your family get bigger? Yes. Is there a new baby at your house? Yes. Yay! Oh, oh. But that's only part of my surprise. Oh, well, are you going to tell us the rest of the surprise? Nope, but I will show everyone my surprise in just a little while. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Was the baby a boy or a girl? I'm not telling. That's part of my surprise, too. Tasha, how does it feel to have your family get bigger? It feels... Super D Super! <laughs> They come in all different sizes and different kinds, but mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. I've got a friend who lives with his mom and dad, with his brother and his sister too. They've got a cat and a dog and a pet bull dog, and I'm really glad they do. There's a girl I know who lives with her mom. Her dad lives far away. Although she sees her parents just one at a time, they both love her every day. Oh, a family's people and a family's love, that's a family. They come in all different sizes and different kinds, but mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. Oh, a family. 
choices in different kinds. But mine's just right for me. Yeah, mine's just right for me. <laughs> so tell us, when did all of this happen? Well, Daddy took Mommy to the hospital on Friday. And she had a baby, right? Right. And then she stayed in the hospital for two days, and last night she came home. Did you go see your mom at the hospital? Uh-huh. I'll bet it was fun bringing the new baby home. It was. I'll show you. Okay. Okay. Here we are at the make-believe hospital. <laughs> and here comes a mommy and a baby. When it's time to leave the hospital, the mommy rides in a wheelchair to the front door. It's a hospital room. Here comes the daddy with the car. <laughs> okay, little baby, it's time to go home. And is that a car seat for the baby? Yes, every baby needs to be in a car seat with a seat belt. That's a rule, too. Wearing seatbelts in the car is a good rule for everybody, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> of traffic on the road today. I'm glad everyone's wearing seatbelts. Driving to my grandma's. I buckle my belt. Driving to my grandma's. I buckle my belt. Driving to my grandma's. I buckle my belt. Buckle up my seatbelts. <laughs> Driving everywhere. I buckle my belt. Driving everywhere. Baby comes home from the hospital. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh, that was so yeah. much fun. Oh, I just love babies with their eensy weensy fingers and toesies and tails. Tails? <laughs> Oops, I was thinking of dinosaur babies. <laughs> Do you know what else I love about babies? What? I love the way that every one of them grows up to be a very special girl or boy, just like all of my friends. But what makes everyone special, Barney? Mm, lots of little things. In fact, there are so many little things that it's almost like the pieces of a puzzle. <laughs> just think about all of the little pieces that make you who you are. The color of your eyes. Mine are brown. Mine are blue. Or the color of your hair. I've got red hair. Other pieces might be the things that you like to do, like playing games or drawing pictures or looking at books. Yeah, I like to read. And there are other little pieces like, oh, your very favorite foods. Mmm, pizza. Or your favorite colors. Purple is my favorite. Or whether you like to talk in a big, loud voice. Or a quiet little voice. Maybe you like to sing. Or dance. Or both. Like me. <laughs> when you put so many different pieces together, you get a different girl or boy. And each one is very special. You are special. You're the only one. You're the only one like you. There isn't another in the whole wide world who can do the things you do. Oh, you are special, special. Everyone is special. Everyone in his or her own way. Oh, you are special, special. Everyone is special. Everyone in his or her own way. Is 
bit or just because you're here. You should know that we love you. Oh, you are special, special. Everyone is special. Everyone in his or her own way. Oh, you are special, special. Everyone is special. Everyone in his or her own way. Everyone in his or her own way. <laughs> now will you show us your big surprise? No, not quite yet. Maybe we could play butterfly first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at all the beautiful butterflies. <laughs> They must think I'm a pretty purple flower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Barney, hmm? what if people were all just the same, like butterflies are? Oh, but butterflies aren't all the same, and neither are people. Each butterfly is special in its own way when you take a good look. Some fly high, some fly low, some fly fast. Some fly slow. Some are gold, or brown, or blue. Each one looks like something new. I think it would be a shame if butterflies were all the same. <laughs> now, can you think of some of the things that you like to do that make you special? I like to build things, like birdhouses. I like to paint pictures. I really like to sing. You see, we all have different things that we can do. And it's nice when we can share those different things with other people. Yeah, yes. sure. Maybe you could teach the new baby some songs. I think I will. I love to be a real teacher someday. Well, I've got a friend who is a real teacher, and she knows all about teaching songs. Would you like to meet her? Yes! Oh, good! Because she should be arriving just about now. Oh, boy! Hello, Barney! Oh, hello, How Ella. are you? Oh, I'm oh, fine. boy, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Come on in. Thank you. It's certainly boy. nice to be here. Everybody, I'd like you to meet my very good friend, Ella Jenkins. Hello, Ella. Hello, boys and girls. She writes and sings the most wonderful songs. Thank you, Barney. Okay, now, let's all sit down and get comfy. Okay. Oh, boy. Great. Here you go. <laughs> well, girls and boys, I do a lot of traveling in my work. And as I travel, I make a lot of friends. And sometimes my friendship is done like this. A, a friendly wave of a hand. Let's wave to one another. Oh. And uh, sometimes the friendship is with a smile. Oh, let's see your smiles. That's good. And many times I make friends with a friendly handshake. Oh. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Well, there are a lot of ways of saying hello and getting acquainted with people. And, uh, and I think the, the friendship begins right at home. And so I hope the very first person you see in the morning, the very first person you have a really friendly hello for. So some people like to say hello like this. Hello. 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 Some people might try hi. Hi. Or some people prefer, what's happening? What's, what's happening? happening? In Hawaii, the people say aloha. 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 Now, the people in Hawaii, many people play the ukulele. Mm -hmm. And in Hawaii, they call it ukulele. Can you say that? Ukulele. 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 All right, now, uh, I'd like to really sing a song with you. I want you to work along with me with this, this, with this uh, ukulele. And uh, it's one about Miss Mary Mack. Oh, Heard that before? That one. Okay. Yeah. Now, what I want you to do is just make the last sound twice. <laughs> Miss Mary Mack, Mac, Mac, Mac. all dressed in black, 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 with silver buttons, 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 buttons. all down her back, back, back. Well, she asked her mother, 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 for fifteen cents, 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 to see the elephants, 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 jump the. Well, they jump so high, high, 
Hand clap. Sort of clap and slap against your neighbor's palms. Oh, okay, no. there you got it. <laughs> Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 with silver buttons, buttons, buttons. all down her back, back, back. Well, she asked her mother, 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 for 15 cents, cents. To see the elephants, elephants, elephants Jump the fence, try some other it's rhythms it's Well, they jump so high, high, high They touched the sky, sky, sky And they never came back, back, back. Till the 4th of July back, back. No, they never came back, back, back. Till the 4th of July Bye, bye. Well, Barney, I hope I come back again and again and see all of you. And I always share with the, all the girls and boys that I know a nice little goodbye song. Let's just do it. Stand up okay. and we'll sh shake hands with friends, okay? Ooh. And Barney, you're a friend too. Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> shake hands with friends because it's time to go. go. Shake hands with friends, cause it's time to go. Shake hands with friends, cause it's time to go. I hope I'll see you another day once again. Shake hands with friends, cause it's time to go. Shake hands with friends, cause it's time to go. Shake hands with friends, cause it's time to go. And I hope I'll see you another day. It's been fun visiting with all of you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wasn't it fun having Ella Jenkins visit us and teach us those songs? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I could teach those songs to someone at my house. Oh, yeah. why not? Only, I don't have a ukulele. Well, if we use our imaginations, Maybe we can make some ukulele. Sure. Yeah. And it sounds like a job for... The Barney Bag! <laughs> well, I've been looking in my Barney Bag And I found a lot of things Gizmos and gadgets and odds and ends And even some old strings So let's ask ourselves the question What can we make today? Looks like we have everything we need. Well, this is easy. You just take the rubber bands and stretch them over the tissue box. See, the rubber bands go over the hole. And a grown-up can cut a hole in the end of the box. A round hole like the one that I cut out. Then just push in a paper towel tube. And put some tape on it. Then, after you put the tube in, you can decorate your ukulele. And you can use any color you want. And when you're all done, you've made a toy ukulele. boy. <laughs> some really funny music. What was it? We made some ukuleles. See, BJ? Oh, wow, that's really great. Bow, 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 b
<laughs> We've been having lots of fun while we're waiting for Tasha to show us a big surprise. Ooh, I like surprises. <laughs> yeah. Is it time to show us your surprise yet, Tasha? Oh, Let me yeah. see. Not yet, but soon. Well, what will we do while we're waiting? I know, I know. We could sing my very favorite song. Oh, the one with uh -huh. your name in it? Yes. Can we? Yes. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Nickerbocker Boppity Bop. I like it the way that you boppity bop. I like it the way that you boppity bop with your hands. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> We're dancing! <laughs> hey, Mr. Knickerbocker, boppity bop! I like it the way that you boppity bop! I like it the way that you boppity bop with your mouth! Just part of my surprise. Oh, where's she going? I don't know. Hi, Daddy. Oh. Hi, Daddy. Oh. Hi, big sister. Oh. 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 Mother baby. Oh. Oh. There are two new babies. Tasha's mommy had twins. Oh, Bonnie, what are twins? That's when one mommy has two babies at the very same time, <laughs> like I did. Are the little boys or little girls? Two little boys, and I'm their big sister. Mm, what are their names? His name is Kevin. <gasps> and Tasha's daddy is holding Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Don't you think they look alike? Mm, you're right, Tasha, they do. That's because some twins do look just like each other, even when they get much bigger. They're called identical twins. But Barney, if they look just the same, are they still special? Oh, yes, because it's not what you look like that makes you special, it's who you are inside. <laughs> you are special, you're the only ones, you're the only ones like you there isn't another in the whole wide world who can do the things you do you are special special everyone is special in his or her own way. <laughs> oh, Tasha, thank you so much for sharing your surprise with us. Yeah, thanks, Tasha. Oh, yeah. I'm glad 
glad we could see the babies. <laughs> Mostly, I wanted the babies to see all of you. Because I love all of you. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? <laughs> I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? <laughs> oh, I want to go color a picture for the babies Oh, okay Hey, wait up, sissy huh? I'll color a picture too Oh, oh okay I guess we should be getting home too. <laughs> Goodbye, Barney. Bye -bye. Bye. Nice to see you. Bye, Kevin. Bye, Kyle. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We had a very special day today, waiting for Tasha's big surprise. <laughs> we pretended to bring a baby home from the hospital, and everyone used their seatbelts. That's a very important safety rule. We found out that there are lots of things that make every boy and girl different and very special in his or her own way, even if they're just little babies. <laughs> Do you know what? You're special too. And I love you. Tasha and Kathy? Yeah, they're still in school, man. Thanks. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, we need one more. That will make ten. A tenth friend. I know. Barney can be our tenth friend. Yeah, okay. There, I think we're ready now. In Spanish, that means tenth friend. I'll be delighted to be El Decimo Amigo, your tenth friend. Hi, Barney. Oh, oh hi, Min. How are you? Great. And I have some good news. What? Well, we're going to have some visitors. Who? Derek and Tina. Where? Here. Here. When? When? Today. Oh, oh. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I miss seeing them since they moved to their new school. Maybe we could do something special for them when they come to visit. I've got an idea. Let's give them a going away present. Oh, that's a super deep duper idea. <laughs> but what should our present be? Hmm, that's a good question. Maybe we should give them something that will remind them of their friends at this school. <laughs> good idea, Kathy. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I sure do miss all my friends at my old school. your name? Kenneth. Kenneth Kelly. I'm pleased to meet you, Kenneth. It's nice to meet you too, BJ. Want to look through my telescope? Sure, thanks. Everything looks so close through your telescope. Yeah. <gasps> wow, look at this. Huh? Thanks. Oh, say, he's pretty funny looking, isn't he? Yeah. I wonder what kind of bird that is, BJ. Huh. Wait a minute, that's a kookaburra. Wow. 
Huckleberry sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bushes, he laugh. Kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra, gay, your life must be. Have a look, Kenna. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, eating all the gumdrops he can see. Stop, Kookaburra, stop. Kookaburra, leave some there for me. He's a pretty silly old bird. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bushes, he laugh. Kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra, gay, your life must be. <laughs> Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Eating all the gum drops he can see. Stop, Kookaburra, stop. Kookaburra, leave some there for me. Oh, I think bird watching is fun, Kenneth. Do you like to watch birds? Yeah, I used to watch birds with my friends. May I look at your picture? Sure. I don't know anyone in the picture with you. That's because none of them live here. They're friends from my old neighborhood. Oh, well, show me where you used to live. Well, we couldn't see it, even with the telescope. Why not? My family just moved into a new house here. My old house is in a city far away. Did your family move everything here? Yes. All my toys and my clothes and my bed. My dog, too. Everything. How do you like your new house? Oh, it's great. My room is bigger than the one in my old house. But I still miss my friends. Oh, it's okay to be sad when you miss your friends, Kenneth. But it's fun to go new places and make new friends. Sometimes that's a little bit scary, moving to a new city and a new house and a different school. You don't know where things are, and you don't know anybody. Oh, yeah. I sure miss Tina and Derek now that they're going to their new school. You won't see them every day, Kathy, but you'll still see them sometimes. And they'll think of us every time they look at the present we're going to give them. <laughs> if we could think of something to give them. Oh, I know you'll think of a terrific present for Tina and Derek. <laughs> if you use your imaginations and maybe a little help from... The Party Bag! <laughs> boy, boy, boy. To make surprises! Well, I've been looking in my party bag And I found a lot of things Gizmos and gadgets and odds and ends And even some old strings So let's ask ourselves the question What can we make today? With imagination and the party bag We'll see what we can make today Yeah, see what we can make today Hmm, what can we make with these? This ribbon is pretty. We have enough stuff here to make a memory book for Derek and Tina. What's that? Well, a memory is something we remember, so we can make a book with lots of things inside to help them remember all of their friends at our school. <laughs> I think Derek and Tina will love it. Hmm, I wonder what's in this envelope. Uh, uh that's a surprise for later, Kathy. Uh, I'll just hold on to it for now. <laughs> Thank you. We can all help put the book together. I'll start making the cover. I'll punch holes in the pages to tie them together. Then we can find things to put in it. Oh, Tina and Derek will be so surprised. I can't wait to see their smiles. Special surprises always make friends smile. So important, they make the world go round. We like helping one another in school or on the playground. Friends are there to help each other when one is feeling sad. Being friends is very special. Be a friend and you'll be glad. Friends are special, so important, they make the world go round. Friend and you'll be glad. Being friends is 
Come on, Kenna. Pretend that you're looking into outer space, BJ. Okay. Oh, wow, there's the moon. I can see Mars and Jupiter, too. Astronaut Kenneth reporting for duty, sir. Very good, Kenneth. Fly your rocket ship up to the stars and tell me what you see. Five, four, three, two, one. Last stop. Flying high in the sky, he'll look back and wave goodbye as his spaceship is flying away. Past the Earth and the stars, look, there's Jupiter and Mars as our spaceship. and Derek of the playground. Good idea, Min. There are lots of pretty leaves out here. You're right, BJ. Pass me the Barney! Oh, hello there, Kenneth. Am I glad to see you, Barney? Why is that, Kenneth? I didn't have any friends here this morning, but now I have two. You and BJ. Yeah. Oh, you have more friends than just the two of us, Kenneth, because I'm going to introduce you to three more, okay? Come on. <laughs> I'd like you to meet Kathy. Hello, Kenneth. <laughs> Min. Hi, Kenneth. <laughs> and Tasha. Pleased to meet you, Kenneth. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, too. Ooh, Kenneth is a very good friend of mine. Mine, too. Hi, everybody. Hi there, Hi. BJ. How are you? What are you doing with those leaves, Kathy? <laughs> We're making a memory book for Derek and Tina to take with them to their new school. Oh. The leaves will remind them of how nice the playground is when the leaves fall. In autumn! <laughs> I like to roll in the leaves, feel the cool breeze, stuff the scarecrow top to bottom, and you can call it fall if that's what you please. But I say I like autumn. Oh, scoot a lot, but do the lot, but do the lot, but these are jackets. We're glad we brought them. And you can call it fall if that's what you please. But I say I I like to roll in the leaves, feel the cool breeze, stuff a scarecrow top to bottom, and you can call it fall, if that's what you please, but I say I like autumn. Oh, scootle-lop-a-doodle-lop-a-deedle-lop-a-dees, our jackets, we're glad we brought them. And you can call it fall, if that's what you please, but I say I like autumn. <laughs> And then the leaves go. Oh, oh. oh scootle up a doodle up a teetle up a tease. Our jackets, we're glad we brought them. And you can call it fall if that's what you please. But I say I like autumn. Yes, I say I like autumm. Oh, yip to do to do to do to do to we better finish making our memory book before Tina and Derek get here. Ooh. I have an idea for the book that you might like. What is it, Kenneth? When friends at my old school said goodbye, they made some handprints for me. That's a neat idea. We could do that for Derek and Tina, too. Would you show us how? Sure. Ooh. We can make them in the classroom. Come on. Oh, oh great. Great. Oh, okay, here we go. Princess. 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 
chatting oh, with you. Oh, thanks, Barney. Oh, certainly. My pleasure. Ooh, the paint must be cold on your fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that color. Everybody's being so neat. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Terrific. Sure, Garrick and Tina will love these. That was a great idea, Kenna. <laughs> these handprints look great. Thanks for suggesting them, Kenneth. You're welcome, Kathy. You've all put so many nice things into the memory book. May I add something to it now? Sure, Barney, but what? <laughs> Just a few things from this envelope. What's in there anyway? You'll see. Now, if you'll excuse me for a few minutes, I'm going to add some more pages to the book. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you hide until Derek and Tina get here? Then you can pop out and surprise them with the book at just the right time. Yeah. Oh, that's a terrific idea. <laughs> oh, okay, surprise. Oh, no, wait, uh, surprise. No, wait, uh, surprise. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> but I wonder what Barney has in that envelope. Hi, Mia. Hi, Tasha. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Hi, Jay. Hey, Kenneth, these are the friends we've been talking about. Tina and Derek. Well, hi, Kenneth. Nice to meet you, Kenneth. Nice to meet you. It's really good to see you. It seems like a long time since you left our school. <laughs> it sure does, Tasha, but we came back. Oh, we came back. Oh, we came back. From old Algiers. From old Algiers. And brought you back. And brought you back. A pair of shears. A pair of shears. Oh, we came back. Oh, we came back. Oh, we came back from old Japan. From old Japan. And brought you back. And brought you back. A paper fan. A paper fan. Oh, we came back. Oh, we came back from the county fair. From the county fair. And brought you back. And brought you back. A rocking chair. A rocking chair. Oh, we came back. Oh, we came back from old Belgium. From old Belgium. And brought you back. And brought you back. Some bubble gum. first day at our school. You're really going to like it, Kenneth. I know, because I really miss it. We miss you too, Tina. But we'll still see each other, just not every day. How do you like your new school? Well, I wasn't sure at first, but I made lots of new friends. Me too. I was nervous and excited. I was shy and couldn't hide it. But in a few days, we made new Friends, now we love our new school. Our new school, our new school. Making new friends, it never ends at our new school. Different teachers, different hallways, but lunchtime, just like always, the learning and fun have just begun. How we some of the special times you had at this school. And here to give you our surprise going away present is one of your 
very oldest, kindest, happiest, and best friends. Me. Barney! Hi, oh, Barney! Oh, hi, Tina. Hi, Derek. How are you? Oh, we're fine, fine Barney. Oh, it's so good to see you again. When we heard you were coming, we made this very special present. It's from all of us to you. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> oh, I hope you like it. What is it? I wonder what it is. Oh, look. <laughs> it's a memory book. Uh -huh. wow. I hope you like it. <laughs> and here's a picture of the school. Uh-huh. Here are some leaves. They're from the playground tree, so you'll remember playing there. I love that tree. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody made a handprint. Mm -hmm. yeah. All different colors. <laughs> Min and Kenneth. <laughs> oh, and BJ's. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Barney's too. Oh. <laughs> Wow, this is really special. Look at all the terrific photographs. Photographs? I don't want oh, photographs. Oh, photographs. Just a little something I was saving in here. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Well, come on, you guys. Come on, come on. Look. Look, there's Tina and Tasha playing clowns in the circus. And the marching band. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Look, there we are. Derek, <laughs> and there you are playing astronaut. And look at you with the alligator. <laughs> yeah, that was neat. <laughs> There's a picture of Barney and Baby Bob. We had fun that day. Yeah. 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 It sure is nice to remember good times with all your friends. That's right, Barney. And every time we look at this book, it will remind us of all the good times we had at our school. Yeah. We also have a surprise for our newest friend. It's a book for collecting memories from this school. Welcome to our school, Kenneth. It's nice to have you for a friend. Thanks! You even put my name on the book. Oh, I think it's time we take a picture of all of us together. Oh, great. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, everybody oh, squeeze in close. Oh, okay. To save room for me, I can run around and get in the picture before the camera takes it. Oh, okay. 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 okay, everybody, say cheese. Greetings. Oh, oh, hurry, Give me the picture, quick. Barney, one of the nicest things about school is all the good friends you make. <laughs> I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Nice to see you. <laughs> I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? I sure <laughs> was good to see you again. But I better be going now. Bye, Tina. Bye, Derek. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. So long. Bye. See you, Kenneth. Bye, BJ. Bye. 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 See you guys. Bye. So long. Bye. 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 I guess we'd better be going too. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, 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 Here's a picture of your new friends to put in your memory book. Aw, thanks, Barney. <laughs> You're very welcome, Kenneth. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like my new school. <laughs> See ya, Barney. So long. Hey, guys, wait for me. Hey, everybody. It's time for Barney Says. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. We had so much fun playing with our new and old friends today, didn't we? Sometimes when you move to a new house or even to a new school, you can miss your old friends the way Kenneth did. 
But moving can be a fun and exciting time too, meeting new friends. Derek and Tina came back to visit and told us about their new school. We remembered all the good times we had together by making a memory book. You can make one for a friend or family member too. You can draw pictures for it, or make handprints, or even add photographs of special times together. It's a great way to show friends that you love them. And remember, I love you. to the library, Mr. Bear. This book has a funny story that I think you'll like. But don't be too noisy. There are other people trying to read. I hope you're enjoying that book, Barney. It's one of my favorites. Sure, we can do that. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, his name is my name too. Whenever I go out, the people always shout, there goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, da 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 Could you sing even softer? I think they can still hear you. Oh, we can be really quiet. to read books. <laughs> Kenneth, my mom's here to pick us up. Oh, hello, Stephen. Hi, Barney. <laughs> Gotta go. My ride's here. Cool. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Take bye. care bye. now. Bye, Kenneth. Bye, Stephen. <laughs> Guess he's not here. Oh, who's that, Sean? 
Carlos. We were looking for him. <laughs> Did anyone get that car's license number? I'm the driver, Barney. I didn't mean for the car to go so close to everyone. I'll be more careful next time. Oh, that's okay, Carlos. But you're right. It's important to be careful when we drive. And safe, too. Like when we buckle up our seatbelts. When we grow up, we're all going to be careful and safe drivers. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Light being stop. Hello, Officer Barney. Oh, hello, Min. Where are you going? I'm driving my taxi to the airport to pick up a passenger. Oh, I see. Green light means go. Have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> so long. <laughs> oh, it's a bus. Bumping up and down in my big, big bus. Bumping up and down in my big, big bus. Bumping up and down in my big, big bus. Won't you be my driving? Red light, stop. Hello, Officer Barney. Hello, Sean. Your bus looks empty. Yes, but I'll be picking up lots of people at the bus stop up the street. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Green light, go. Have a nice day. Thank you. See you later. Pizza smells delicious today, Kathy. Thank you, Officer Barney. I'm delivering it to some very hungry customers right now. Ooh, they're very lucky. <laughs> oh, there's the green light. You can go now and deliver your pizza. See you later. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you. driver, and I'm on my way to a big race. Oh, that sounds exciting. Oh, be sure to drive carefully. I will. <laughs> Green light, go. Have a nice day, Carlos. Thank you, Officer Barney. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Bumping up and down in my yellow taxi. Bumping up and down in my big, big bus. Bumping up and down in my pizza wagon. Bumping up and down in my little race car. Oh, no. Jam. Won't you be my darling? Yeah. Oh, oh, great driving, everybody. Let's see here. What's Officer Barney doing? Did we do something wrong? Maybe we didn't drive carefully, and he's writing us all tickets. Uh-oh. Okay, here's something for you. Did I make a wrong turn? No. And one for you. Did I go through a red light? No. And something for you. Did my license plate fall off? No. And one for you, too. Was I driving too fast? No. <laughs> Why did you give us these traffic tickets? Oh, oh, they're not traffic tickets. They're special badges for being super de-duper safe drivers. <laughs> oh, you know, it would be fun to drive a car. I could drive around town and honk my horn, beep beep. <laughs> or would it go toot toot? Or how about honk honk? Maybe ooga, ooga. <laughs> oh, what color can you Sure. But don't say anything. It'll be a surprise. Okay, I have an idea to keep Barney in the classroom while you get ready out here. Come on, Sean. I can see the mountains and things and when I could put my top down and feel the wind blowing through my hair. <laughs> Whoops, I don't have any hair. <laughs> oh, Barney? Yes, Kathy? Sean and I have uh, a friend. Yes? And uh, 
He needs some things for his car, <laughs> but we don't have everything we need to make them. Oh, then this sounds like a job for... The Barney Bear! Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go to the classroom and get to work. Okay, then. <laughs> Here we go. Certainly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I've been looking in my Barney bag, and I found a lot of things. Gizmos and gadgets and odds and ends, and even some old strings. So, so let's ask ourselves a question. Looks very interesting, Kathy. Oh, oh, what's that noise? Oh, uh, Barney, uh, could you please pass me the ribbon over there? Oh, I'd be happy to, Kathy. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, there's that noise again. You know, it sort of sounds like Say, something. Say, Barney, uh, could you pass the big markers, please? Why, certainly. Uh, let's see, big markers, big markers. Hmm. Oh, there they are. <laughs> there you go, Sean. <laughs> oh, my. You've really used your imagination to decorate the bag, Kathy. But what is it? It's a litter bag for your car. You can put your trash in it. Oh, that'll help keep the earth clean. <laughs> and here are some license plates for your car. This one says Barney, and this one says, I love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but, but I don't have a car. You don't have a car? Mm -hmm. Then what will you do with your license plates and litter bag? Mm -hmm. Maybe if we go out to the playground, we'll think of something. Mm -hmm. What's in the playground? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a big surprise for you. A surprise for me? <laughs> what is it? What is it? You'll see. Come on outside. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's my surprise. It's a, 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 a. What is it? Here it is, Barney. A new car. Oh, for me? My very own car? for you. Here, listen to the horn. Oh. Get it? I love you. This is so special. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there are so many places we can go and things we can see when we go for a ride in a car. <laughs> some errands. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you when I'm out doing them. Good 
Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Shine's Car Wash. Good afternoon. I'm taking my friends for a ride later, and I want my car to be squeaky clean. Then you've come to the right place. Good. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, oh, here they come. <laughs> I'm just like ants at a picnic. <laughs> this is the way we wash the car. Wash the car. Wash the car. This is the way we wash the car so early in the morning. <laughs> They're just as busy as bees. <laughs> Is looking better already. <laughs> oh. This is the way we rinse the car, rinse the car, rinse the car. <laughs> this is the way we rinse the car so early in the morning. <laughs> this is fun. Now, how much do I owe you? That would be one dollar, please. Okay, here you are. One dollar. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm off to the cleaners. Bye. 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 Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Carlos's Cleaners. How may I help you? Well, I'm here to pick up my cap. Is it ready? May I see your claim check? Oh, sure. Oh, here it is. <laughs> ah, yes. Number one, two, three. Mm -hmm. No. This isn't it. Here it is. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. They match. Great. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no doubt about it. This is your cap, sir. Oh, I think you're right. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's very nice. And may I say, sir, you look great in it. Oh, thank you. Well, I must be going. Uh, how much do I owe you? Two dollars, please. All right, then. Here you are. One. Two dollars. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I have to visit the library now. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> welcome to the library, sir. Returning some books? Yes, they were wonderful. <laughs> oh, books can take you so many different places on lots of adventures. <laughs> You can have an adventure in a faraway land. You can learn about a tuba in a marching band. You can travel to the stars or the deep blue sea when you learn to borrow books from the library. <laughs> but please, don't be loud so that everyone here can read. You will be proud when you take a book home from the library. You can, can have an adventure in a faraway land. You can learn about a tuba in a marching band. You can travel to the stars or the deep blue sea when you learn to borrow books from the library. <laughs> but please, don't be loud so that everyone here can read. You will be proud when you take a book home from the library. You can have an adventure in a faraway land. In a marching band You can travel to the stars Or the deep blue sea When you learn to borrow books From the library Oh, library <laughs> Would you like to borrow another book today, sir? Oh, no, thank you I have to pick up some snacks now I'm taking friends for a ride in my car later today <laughs> Okay, see you soon Okay, bye-bye <laughs> Welcome to 
Sean Snappy Snacks. We make your snacking happen in a flash. May I take your order? Yes, let's see. I'd like some carrot sticks and five ham and cheese sandwiches. Okay, that's carrot sticks and five clam and peas sandwiches. Oh, what? Uh, no, thank you. Not clam and peas sandwiches, ham and cheese. Oh, sorry. You want carrot sticks? Mm -hmm and five clam and cheese sandwiches. <laughs> no, ham and cheese sandwiches. I've got it now. Carrot sticks mm -hmm. and five ham and peas sandwiches. <laughs> Maybe you can't hear me. Just a second, I'll turn this off here. <laughs> I'd like to order ham and cheese sandwiches, not ham and peas. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> ham and cheese sandwiches. Yes. You should have told me. <laughs> Just a moment, please. Oh, okay. Here you are, an order of carrot sticks and five ham and cheese sandwiches. Oh, thank you, that was fast. That's why we're called Sean Snappy Snacks. Mm. That would be $3, please. Okay, here you go. One, two, three dollars. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it sounds like you're almost out of gas. You might be right. I'm taking my friends for a ride today, so I'd better go over to the gas station right away. Enjoy your snappy snacks <laughs> and come again. See ya. Well, I hope I can get to the gas station before I run out. to Ms. Motor Gas Station, sir. You're almost up to the gas pump. Oh, cars aren't fun when you have to push them. <laughs> oh, I promised friends I'd take them for a ride today, and, well, now I'm out of gas. Then you came to the right place. I'll fill your tank and have you on your way in no time. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There you are, Barney, all filled up. Thanks. <laughs> can we go for a ride now? We sure can. But before we take a ride, there's one thing we have to do. Does anybody know what it is? Buckle up our seatbelt. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Start the engine, and here we go! Wow, this is fun, Barney. Juan and I always sing along with the radio when we go for rides. It's a super deep duper idea. <laughs> Here's a good one. The wheels on the car go round and round, round and round. Boom-dee-yada, 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 boom-dee-yada,
find another song, Barney. Well, okay, let's see. <laughs> So don't forget, for the best clam and pea sandwiches in town, come to Sean Snappy Snacks. Clam and pea sandwiches, ew! <laughs> Find another music station, Barney. Okay. <laughs> I love to sing along to this song. <laughs> Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Uh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, let's sing one more before we go back to school. Songs on the radio <laughs> and listening to the Clem and Pete sandwich commercial. Sean! <laughs> oh, I'm glad we could spend time together. Yeah, thanks for taking us, Barney. Oh, thank you for surprising me with the car. <laughs> oh, it's always fun to go new places with old friends. <laughs> I love you. A great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? <laughs> I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? <laughs> I guess I'd better be going. Me too. Mm, okay, bye-bye, everybody. Bye. I should head up on that too. Take care now. Love you. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Have you ever ridden in the car and visited the places I did today? Like the car wash? Or the cleaners? Or the drive through window at your favorite restaurant? Mm. My favorite is Sean's Snappy Snacks. <laughs> It's fun to sing along with songs on the car radio. Oh, but don't forget to buckle your seatbelt. I want you to be safe. And remember, I love you.
all these different kinds yeah. of cats. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> How do I look? Come on. <laughs> <Not dreaming. laughs> That's good. Oh, oh, this is a big hat. It sure is. <laughs> Look in this one. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a baseball player. That's me. Guess who I want to be? A doctor. Right. How about you, Julie? Hmm. What do I want to be? The surprise was here. Huh? Surprise? Oh, yes, it's coming on a train today. A train? <laughs> Trains don't go by our school, Barney. Oh, but if we use our imaginations, maybe they will. <laughs> Listen. Hey, oh. 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 Wow, did you hear that? It's like a train passed through and left something. Ah, uh, these toys are really cool. Oh, they sure are. But I'm sorry we missed seeing the train. Mm. Is this the surprise you said was coming today, Barney? Oh, not really. Uh... Come on, Sissy. We can play with some of these toys in the classroom. Oh, okay. Oh, let me help, BJ, please. No, no just put them in my arms. I'll carry them. Oh, okay. <laughs> One, two... Three, four, five. Oh, hey, sissy, that's enough. Well, are you sure you don't want Baby Bob to help you, BJ? Oh, well, no thanks. I can do it all by myself. Okay. <laughs> oh, yay, yay, yay. Ow. I made a mess. I guess I do need your help, sissy. Will you please carry some of the toys? Oh, sure, BJ. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I'll carry that and that. Ooh. Thanks, Kenneth. Okay. Well, they went everywhere. Okay. Ready to go? Thank you. Okay, then I'll get the door. Thanks a lot, Barney. You're welcome. Thank you, Barney. You're welcome, baby Bob. I still can't believe a train went through our playground and we didn't even see it. Maybe we'll see the next one. What's that? Is it coming from the treehouse? Let's go up and see! Oh, 
Which one? Hi, hey, one. <laughs> what you doing? Playing my horn. Want to play too? Oh, yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. Let's be a marching man. Come on, get some instruments. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see what you have here. I like this. I like What's happening, huh? I'll be right back. I told you, Sissy, I'm going to be the engineer. No, me. You always get your way because you're little. No, you do because you're bigger. Oh, DJ, Baby Bob, what's wrong? We made a circus train and I want to be the engineer. Mm -hmm. But Baby Bob wants to be the engineer, too. Yeah. Oh. Well, is there another train job you'd like, BJ? No! Oh, well, how about you, Baby Pop? No! Oh, well, it might be fun for one of you to be the conductor. The huh? engineer drives the train, but the conductor gets to tell the engineer when to start and stop. And the conductor also shouts, All aboard! Okay, I'll be the conductor. <laughs> I want to be the conductor! <laughs> Is there a way you could both get to be the engineer and the conductor? Uh, oh, I know. I know. We could take turns. Uh -huh. oh, that's a great idea, sissy. You be the engineer for a while, and I'll be the conductor. Then we'll trade places later. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Here's the conductor back in the little red caboose. That's always the last car on the train. <laughs> All aboard! Okay! Okay, <laughs> Sissy, take her out! Okay. I'm ready. I got my ticket. All right! <laughs> little red caboose, chop, chop, chop. Little red caboose, chop, chop, chop. Little red caboose behind the train. Train, train, train. Smoke stack on his back. Sounds baby bop. Huh? Is that the train coming? I think it is. Let's go see. I hope it's bringing a surprise. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to see the train. 
Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's a nice surprise. Oh, yeah. Fruits and vegetables do taste good. And help us grow big and strong, too. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Have a snack. Eat an apple or an orange. Have a snack. Munch a cherry or a grape. Have a snack. Have some celery or carrots. Have a snack. Yeah, broccoli is great. When you want something crunchy, when you want something sweet, Fruits and vegetables are always fun to eat! Oh, man, I could really go for a mango! <laughs> I know what you mean! Yummy! <laughs> to eat fruits and vegetables. Because they taste so good. That's not my favorite reason. Because they're such pretty colors. That's not my favorite reason either. <laughs> then what is your favorite reason for eating fruits and vegetables? Because fruits and vegetables help keep your heart healthy. And so does exercise. Oh, my favorite exercise is hopping. <laughs> Whoa, mine too. I know someone who is lots of fun with a happy kind of dancing. All of her friends say, Baby Bop, do the Baby Bop hop. Hop, hop, hop! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> where the train carries things like these toys. Oh, well, this car has a tractor on it, Barney. Uh-huh. That's a flat car, BJ. And that's the little red caboose. Jump, jump, jump! jump. <laughs> <laughs> Will the train bringing our surprise look like this, Barney? Maybe, Tasha. I don't want to miss it again. Let's stay here and watch for it. Oh, that's a stupendous idea. We can wait for the train down by the station. <laughs> down by the station. Down by the station. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. See the little puffer belly. See the little puffer belly. All in a row. All in a row. 
See the station master. See the station master. Turn the little handle. Turn the and toys felt. Then, a tired and rusty old engine chugged by. The dolls and toys asked him for help, but the rusty old engine sighed. I am so tired, I cannot pull even so little a train as you over the mountain. And off he rumbled, chugging. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. The dolls and toys were ready to cry. Then a blue engine, a very little blue engine, came chug-chugging along. Oh, little blue engine, please, please help us, cried the dolls and toys. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. I have never been over the mountain. But she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys. And then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little tray. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged. And slowly, 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 they started off. Buff, buff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can. 
can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And at last, they reached the top of the mountain and saw the city. Hooray! Hooray! They all shouted. The good little boys and girls in the city will be so happy because you helped us. Kind little blue engine. The little blue engine smiled. It seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could. I thought I could. I, I thought, thought I could. I thought I could. I thought I could. <laughs> the end. <laughs> oh, Stella, oh, thank you very much. I'm glad you liked it. Well, it's one of my favorite stories. Mine too, Barney. Oh my goodness. Where has the time gone? I promised to tell stories to some other children this afternoon. I must be off. So, as they say in Scotland, ta-ta! Ta-ta! Bye-bye! It's always fun when Stella visits. That was a nice surprise, Barney. Thank you. You're welcome. I thought you'd like it. <laughs> Gee, wouldn't it be fun to work on the railroad? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, crew, let's get to work. Right. I've been working on the railroad. Play train some more. Oh, okay. <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> Bye, DJ. So long, baby bop. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 I guess we'd better be going too. Thanks for all the fun we had today, Barney. Oh, yeah, thanks, my my husband. Husband. You're Very welcome. <laughs> Barney, do you remember how the little engine that could kept saying, "I think I can, I think I can." Oh, I sure do, Taja. Well, we love you with a great big hug. With, with a great big hug. With a great big hug. Oh, oh, thanks, everybody. I love you, too. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a happy family. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? <laughs> I love you, you love me We're best friends like friends should be With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me? Hey, everybody, it's time for Barney Says. <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. 
Imagining what you want to be when you grow up is much more fun when you're wearing a hat. <laughs> Do you have funny hats to wear when you pretend with your friends? BJ tried to carry the toys all by himself, but he learned that sometimes it's better to ask a friend for help. BJ and Baby Bop both wanted to be the train engineer, but they had more fun when they took turns, didn't they? Fruits and vegetables are so yummy, and they're good for us. <laughs> we made music and marched in a band, and we even exercised by hopping up and down. Ooh. Don't forget Stella's story about the little blue engine that kept repeating, I think I can, I think I can, as it carried toys and good food over the mountain to the children. And remember, I love you. <laughs> <laughs>